yeah, so we're recording here, we're recording there, we're recording there. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Room and Board. If you're just joining us and didn't come from the unboxing video, well, here we are. It is a playthrough of Nemesis Lockdown. We unboxed it together. I'm Chris George. I'm Zach. Uh, we unboxed it together and we figured out the rules and now we're sitting down to play our first game. So you know what? There may be some rules goofs. There may be some stopping to look at look up rules, but I'll probably edit that out. Yeah, I, well, I think it's close enough to the last game. And we're yeah. familiar enough with it. I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah. So, Zach, why don't you give a brief explanation of the changes of Nemesis Lockdown versus Nemesis. All right. While I look at my secret objectives, which you've already done. Cool. Uh, so, Nemesis is a, a board game about um, being stuck on a spaceship with aliens and... Everyone has a secret objective to escape the ship while achieving that objective. Uh, and that objective might be killing another player or blowing up the ship or sending the ship into the, the center of the sun. Um, and it's a very sort of like Aliens, the movie, the board game. This has changed in we're no longer in a spaceship. We're now on a planet. We're on Mars. Uh, we're not on a ship. We're in a facility underground. The facility is running out of power. The aliens are bat-themed, so they don't like the light. So they'll be attacking us in whatever sections of the uh, station are unpowered. Um, and we are uh, trying to escape again. We also, like in the original Nemesis, have secret objectives um, that we are going to try to achieve. Um, another complication that has been added to this game from uh, as compared to Nemesis original is we have contingencies. And as far as I understand, what those are is uh, we all used to work in this underground Mars facility for a giant evil corporation, and they plan to kill everyone <laughs> that does survive to hide their misdeeds. Um, they will keep people alive that are valuable, quote unquote, to them. And the contingencies, uh, the contingency, the secret contingency, I guess I can point at anything because it's all on, on camera, right? Yeah. There's yep. secret contingency is over here. Um, yeah, mostly, we'll, mostly we'll, on camera. Yeah, mostly the time tracker is a little off. There we go. Yeah, I think mostly this is the important part of the game. But anyway, yeah. the, the contingency decides who is important enough not to be killed by the company at the end. Um, so we will be trying to complete our secret objectives, not get killed by the aliens, keep the lights on, figure out who will be killed by the company, mm -hmm. and make sure that we are not that person, um, all the while helping each other the whole time <laughs> and this is where uh you people some have some contention with nemesis and, and if you don't like semi-co-op you may not like it for our particular friend group we are the most honest of people very and we'll, trustworthy and will absolutely never try to make the other person lose instead of win when it could go either way just because it's funnier people say let's lose. play the pure co-op version of this game and we're like we're never going to betray you anyway, so there's no point. In yeah, the, you the, might as well have your secret objectives and it's all fine. Yeah, right? well, we can pretend we're in competition. But we're all on the same team here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so for, in terms of for the top down, we've got a... We've, my, our, the microphone wasn't working, so we have our mic here. We've got the top camera down there. The only thing that you cannot see is over here there is an elevator, which we will be moving around at some point and that's just uh because Ooh. i don't have a lens that yeah. zooms out enough because i don't have money okay cool so we all have a starting character yeah uh i chose the lab rat we you get given two characters and you had a choice i had a choice between the janitor and the lab rat so obviously i picked the, the lab rat like there is no choice role in that playing instance. yourself chris yes <laughs> um i don't know where my little mini went oh here oh. it's got it yeah and i start says where you start i start in the isolation chamber Oh, cool. so that's down here. So you've like, oh wow, okay. So you've so like starts in the isolation room, or yeah, yeah. I also start in the isolation room. Okay, maybe we all start there. Maybe it might just be because I have chosen the survivor as my starting class, uh, or as my class or my character. Yeah. Um. So maybe we're both like supposed to be the like the people the who are subjects. not supposed to be in this facility. Yeah, which I like. <laughs> which I think we should work together and if that's the case, stick it to the corporation. Yeah. Like you were the lab rat, I'm the one who's been surviving the What? <laughs> Keep an eye on him for me, okay? <laughs> I can't watch him all the time. All right. Um 
<laughs> now we have two objective cards here. Do we pick one right now? No. So uh, the way this works in Nemesis and in this game as well, you have two secret objectives. You will only need to complete one by the end of the game. Okay. When the first alien appears on the board, God, we yeah. all panic. We all change our plans. We pick one to keep and one to discard. I, I have okay. two very benign objectives. I have one. I'll tell you right now, Zach. Okay. One of my objectives is that player two's character... It just happened well, to work There's only two of us way. in this game, Brandon. <laughs> Cannot survive. Brandon? I mean, Christopher. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, um, so I'll, I'm just saying, I won't be picking that one. I will not be picking that one whatsoever. And then, so with these two contingencies we were, survivor. Oh, we yes. were given, uh, we pick one? No. So the way the contingencies work is this contingency on the board is the contingency that is the policy of the company. Okay. This is the one that's going to kill people at the end of the game. We have two, not because they these are what the contingencies are. We know these are what the contingencies are. Are not. Yes. Oh. So I know that it's not these two contingencies I have. You know it's not those two. Okay. There will be things in this game that let us look at the other contingencies that were not picked. Right, but I don't or, get to see yours. And we can ask each other, and I will be right. honest. And I'll say, be honest as well. Okay. And, yeah. and that way we'll keep each other alive yeah. to escape. Yeah. Um, cool. So let's start the game. We draw five cards. Okay. Um, oh, see, I was excited to pick one of these. I was about to. My impulse was to turn to the camera and be like, if you have any other questions, but they can't answer. <laughs> um, my starting <laughs> knowledge is also three, by the way. Do you want to put me up there? Oh. On the, there's a laboratory track that's off screen that we're... What is my starting knowledge? My starting knowledge is also three. Wow, are we just the same character? You know what? I think once we hit these knowledge levels, we reveal this this weaknesses. So that's why this one starts revealed. Maybe, maybe. But I think you still have to do the action yeah, to I reveal think... it and bring something there. Yeah, I think so. What do you have to bring there? Either a dead body or uh, it's a dead human body, a dead alien body, or an alien egg. Cool. Uh, and just like in the past games, you need to put one of those things in, in one of your, your hands. hands. Yeah. yeah, we have two hand slots. That's true. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't. That's our, our board, so you have your two hand slots on the bottom, and uh, we'll be putting items in there. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I'll go first. I don't know where we're going. Where are all the dice? Let's get the dice out. That's important. Um, cool. So what are my objectives? I guess we kind of just need to explore this facility. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I'm very in. I'm. Very, I'll tell you this, Zach. Yeah. Regardless of objectives, I'm very invested in turning the power on. Yes. Right. Like I just feel like that's something I should do. Right. And I. I think that'll right help here. both of us because in two turns, all the lights are going to shut off, and I feel like that's the way we die. Yeah. So at least, at very least, getting the light in the basement turned on would be good well when you turn on the light in that room you only turn on one and two and then you have to reassign right so but it just feels better it feels like the light should be on yeah so i, I think that's a good objective for the start how many spaces away is that one three three and then you need this okay so it's going to be three cards to get there and then two cards to turn on so it's basically someone's entire and you'd have to run run all the way through i guess you could right yeah because the because the way did you explain? I was reading my objectives. The way the way the actions are are played, oh, if you've no. never played this before, uh, is you have all of these sorts of basic actions that you can do, but all of your actions will cost cards. So any of that little that little symbol, see that says the one on there, uh, they will cost that amount of cards, and you have to discard those cards to do that action. Right, and so you can either play the card to do what it says, or you can discard the cards. To just do general actions. Yeah. Uh, usually one movement takes one card. Uh, you should be able to move, uh, discard two cards to um, do careful movement. Um, you discard a card to pick something up. All that good stuff. Cool. Uh, I'm going to read these cards because I just looked at the art and it's beautiful, but I also <laughs> don't know what I'm, I'm capable of. All of my cards are ab about dealing with being contaminated. Oh. Not, not all of them, but like two of them are. Two of them are searching, and then that's another. I guess we're just front loading this with, hey, there's mechanics in this game, uh, <laughs> but it, and the, over the course of the game, we can get contaminated by the aliens, and usually it's really bad for you because they fill up your hand with the useless cards or your deck with useless cards. Um, it's interesting if your character like maybe wants contamination. I don't know. What I don't think I want are. them. I just uh, can remove them because I'm I'm the lab rat. I know what it's like to be contaminated. Over and over and over. <laughs> I have seen some things which I shouldn't have to tell you, Ripley. But you're clearly Ripley. I'm right? very clearly Ripley. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're just Ripley with a mask on. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, I've, I've only seen I mean, Alien. She's got a alien. very similar hairdo, so like, yeah. Yeah, you're Ripley. And I'm blind. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm Bird Box. I'm Sandra Bullock and Bird Box. <laughs> That's who it's Ripley and Sandra Bullock and Bird Box okay. taking on the, the planet. We were joking before that in Nemesis, you can choose where you want to fly the ship. You fly to Earth, or you fly to Mars, or you fly it into the sun. You just blow yourself up? No, that's not it. That's not uh, if you want the ship to be destroyed, you can't. The sun is an option. Oh, the sun is an option? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but this this is clearly what happens if, when you, you, go to if Mars. you go to Mars, which I think is kind of fun. Yeah. You made that yeah. discovery. There's also rules to use all the original characters in this Mars facility as if they had arrived in Mars. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. I'm going to go first oh actually you're player one you should go first. Oh, okay yeah sure fine um I'm, i think there's probably a way to determine who's starting player but yeah it's it's, it's me there's, now there's two of us <laughs> all right so i'm moving over here whenever i move into a new room you flip it over yep so we have the guard room and it had one item in it so you have this notch here and that's where you put this this notch here so that shows how many items are in this room that you can search for and what came up was a door. So when a door token comes up, the door closes behind you in the corridor you just walked through. Wow. So and then I also have to roll the noise dice, right? Uh, yes. One. So there is one noise down corridor one. Now the noise is, I think, us hearing the aliens move around uh, and giving us a hint of where they are, where they're going to show up. If we're in a completely lit floor, the noise will vanish at the end of the turn, uh, but right now we're in a we're in a, a yeah. Dark that's floor. that's a really cool change. That mm -hmm. I really like that change a lot. That's also why I want the power on so I can get rid of the noise because it's I think we, yeah, scares I think, me. Especially because our end goal is to get out and maybe to the top of this thing. Yeah, fully exploring the basement early might be a good strategy. Yeah, that's true. Um, um, I put those extra. Did I give you the rule books? Uh, yes. Okay, just so we have the. What, in terms of what the guard room does. Oh yeah, I don't even know what that is. Um, this is our first time playing it, right? So we're gonna be we're gonna be figuring it out with you as well. Guard room. Oh, two. Just take equip equipment. Reduce the item counter by one and take the taser crafted item or enviro suit crafted item. Ooh, enviro suits might be useful. Crafted items are those blue items. You can take a look at them to see what they do. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially because there's only appears to be there's one item, and yeah. it might be good for you to grab it while you're there, right? Taser, choose one. Choose one uh, intruder in the room. I'll just put it there. I don't know if it'll be picked up. No, it never will. No. Um, sorry, I'll do it like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that works. It's like everything falls to the ground. I think. I think. Yeah. I, th I think they won't be able to read it. This anyway. is what you get. Hey. <laughs> You're welcome, here for you're welcome to room and board. You're here for us and the, the glowing commentary and the pretty pretty faces. Yeah, you can escape the facility without using the rover if you have the Enviro suit. It does cost you something. You have to, to carry it in to hand. carry it the whole time, <laughs> which feels no. Our taser choose one intruder in the room you're in. It suffers one injury and retreats. And we do already have a uh, a weakness unlocked for the aliens. They all have these different uh, weakness cards. And we have we start with one of them unlocked. So when they retreat, our special ability is that we get to choose where they retreat to. Yeah. Which so the taser might make sense, but honestly, it feels like two cards to get that taser is an interesting change between this and the past game. Is the past game everyone started with like a pretty excellent weapon, but in this game we don't start with any weapons at all. Yeah. And it feels like I think. And a, like a very serious objective of mine is going to be to find some way to protect myself. Yeah, so I'm just going to search the room regularly. Oh, so okay. I reduce the item counter. It says draw two cards of the items of the same color of the room you're in. Pick one. Uh, you shuffled all these, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Pick one. I shouldn't look and at the You can see it. I don't care. I mean, I, I, I don't recognize any of the cards in this game, so it's not like I can cheat yeah, that that's way. Fair. Ugh, these both suck. How do they stay pretty? Oh, yeah, I guess I'll turn it this way so I get to see it. Yeah, I'm tr I sort of tried to angle it a little bit. That's a good idea. But, like, we don't cheat here, and we're on each other's team. Well, no, that's true. Like, we, we don't cheat, but I will hope that you die. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll see how the game works out. All right. I can still take... Um... Now, remind me the benefit of having cards in your hand, Zach. Right. So, I think it's the same in this game, but it might be different. Yeah. Um, in the past game, Nemesis... Uh, when an alien would appear in your space, it would it would try to attack you. 
if you had a certain number of a cards. A certain number of cards. I remember. I think in this game, uh, let me just double check quickly. Yeah, so it's the same thing, but the number is different if the room is lit or not. Oh, cool. So uh, if this token, for example, has a three and a four on it, and the three says lit and the four says not lit. Yeah. Um, so if you had three cards left in your hand cool. or more, the alien wouldn't attack you. In a dark room, if you had four cards or more, the alien wouldn't attack you. Um, so but I'm not worried about the aliens turning up right mm -hmm. now because there's only one yeah. noise marker. Right? I think we're probably fine. Right. Like The events on the event phase might mess with us a bit, but it's early game. So um, I'm moving again. Yep. I'm moving into this one. Oh, no. Oh, okay, you've been slimed. So I got slimed. Oh, dang it. I just got rid of this weird metabolism that lets me discard a slime marker. Here's your slime marker. Oh, the, what action is this? I moved. I just moved. So you moved and then you searched, right? So that was two actions. Oh, right. You, I get two, you get two. Well, I, yeah, we go back and forth right. taking two I actions at a time. I forgot right. how to play. That's all right. All right. Well, we know I'm going to go there for my first action, but we won't resolve it yet. Cool. You, you take your two and then, and then I'll go. Uh, you can set the item number, yeah, though. Yeah. Um, I'm going to discard this, and I'm going to, uh, let's check, mm, that's going to, we'll go down, we'll go down to that room. Move it down. Three, and it's on fire. Oh, the room is on fire. Oh, and it's the nest. The character who explores this room gains one knowledge, take one egg. Oh, for two, two oh, but it's, it's cost you two to do it. But you do get you get the one knowledge right away because you found the nest. I did. Sweet. And the nest is on fire. The nest is on fire. Um, so give me a fire token. Where's the? Oh, thanks. Cool. Well, we found the alien nest. Um, that's interesting. Um, does that have anything to do with any of my objectives, though? I don't think I care. That's a good question. I don't think I care about the alien nest. Well, you could take an egg, but if you end your turn in that room, you take damage, right? Yes, because there's fire in there, so I kind of want to leave as fast as I can. Um, and it's not like there's going to be any items in there other than the eggs. There's one. Well, but did you roll for uh, noise? Oh, I did not. One. one. So it's in the, in it's the, in the vents. Because in the regular Nemesis, so you see this, this section is a little vent section. There's usually oh, right. a circle. It's right here. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. And so when there's noise in there, that means so now there's noise in, in number three. In every vent in the station. So if I roll a three when I move in there. That's actually a lot of, there's a lot of vents. Um, okay, I'm going to... Oh, that's why I had it identified. I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to move this so that I can see all the, all, the, all so the names. There is a vent in my room, right? Yeah. So I'm going to play a card, Vents. If you are in a room with a technical corridor or vent entrance, you may move to a chosen... Exp oh, it's an explored room. This is an explored yet, remember. Right. So there, I'm not going to climb through the vents because the vents have not been explored. I'm instead going to just discard this card and uh, I'll just go to that next room along the line. All right. Let me roll some noise. Yep. It's also on fire. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on! <laughs> no, why is it on fire? What happened in here? <laughs> uh, and we have uh, the cargo sending system A. You can get in the A plot. You're fine. Put it here. Yeah. Right. Um, cool. I don't even know what that room is, so I will have to look it up. That's where you send. You can jump in one of the CSS. Oh, right. So did you talk about the uh, end game conditions? What we're, what no, we're no, trying no. to do? Basically, we're trying to survive. You can survive in three ways. Uh, open the isolation room and lock yourself in and lock yourself in which it seems strange that it doesn't start open right yes it starts closed until the halfway point in the game yeah so we start there but we start on the outside we got pushed out and <laughs> and then we woke up outside the isolation chamber even though clearly that's where all the experiments were happening on both of us i, I don't think we want to be in the isolation chamber to yeah. be honest kind of puts us at the mercy of whoever shows up or doesn't show yeah, up that's fair um Anyway, so you can be in the isolation chamber. You can send yourself out in one of these pods, which are the cargo sending systems. And at points during the time tracker, which are which were randomly determined, uh, those pods will launch, like shipping launch containers, out. and uh... and then you can also get yourself to the bunker, which is up on Mars, uh, and you get yourself in there. But we have to open up that door. However, I notice on the contingencies there are certain things that will happen 
Uh, so the contingency could be kill all in the isolation room. <laughs> the bunker and the pods are safe. Or the contingency could be save all. Everyone's safe. Or the contingency could be kill all in the pods. The isolation and bunker are safe. So the bunker is the only guaranteed safe place. The other two are The gamble. other two are gambles depending on if mm. that is so one, of, one of these two. Maybe later in the game, if you're too deep in the facility to get to the surface, you might gamble on those. Oh, yeah. yeah. And hope that it's not one of those as the... As the, the contingency plan. Well, that's a safe gamble. Yeah, I can tell you that both of those are very safe gambles. I don't know what that means. You have both? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have uh, this is one that says kill everyone in the, the one, and the, this one says kill everyone in the other. And so we oh. know that these aren't tr true. Uh, but quick, what color are they? Oh, I'm blind. I'm colorblind. I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> I know, because you're right here, but we don't know the game well enough. I know. I don't know the game well enough to bluff about anything. But I could be telling the truth and bluffing about that. See, mine are red and green. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, those were your two moves. <laughs> that was my two moves. Um, I take a damage now. You take a damage. Um, where do I mark that? Right. I have one light wound. If yeah. I get two light wound, actually, if I get my third light wound, I become seriously wounded. But yeah, because you can have the two wounds and then you get a serious wound. But you can still live. With the oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not gonna get killed by this. I'm a survivor. All right. So I am scared to do this, but I already committed to it last time. So I'm I'm doing this as my first action. I move in here and I have to roll the dice. And if I roll a three, I'll be very upset. Is that a reroll? Oh, uh, that's that's a that's, that's, that's a, a four. That's a. Yeah, that's a four. That's a four. Like it would have ended. It's a right? little tilted, but like there's no way that it wouldn't. Have that been it a wouldn't. Four. Have, yeah, it was gonna end up. If it was going to not be a four, it would have continued to yeah, tip yeah. over. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that's a four. Thank goodness. You want to give me some noise? Yeah, I would love to give you some noise. Get there and turn the lights on. Uh, so I've discovered the laboratory. Yep. Which is we can analyze an object there. So if you go back and get that egg. You just want me to stay in this place that's on fire no. forever. <laughs> How could we put out fire? In in the original Nemesis, if there if you run out of fire tokens or malfunction tokens, um, you lose. And you Same have to thing add here. Them. Same thing here. Yeah. So we have to find out a way to put out the fire. I but... think it's eleven malfunction and thirteen fire tokens. Right. But there's no way to put out the fire. That... It, it's probably going to be in the yellow items because oh. there was in the old game there was fire extinguishers and stuff in the yellow items, and I assume that's going to be the same thing here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna search here as my second action. So I move the item counter down. I draw two cards from the same color deck. That's these two green cards. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hate all these one-time use things. I just want something to put in my hands that I can shoot bad guys with. Uh, yeah, I think we might be punching the aliens quite a bit in this game. Yeah, which potentially makes the aliens a lot more scary because they're not fun to fight anyway. Oh. Oof, I don't like that. Oh, man. No, I don't like this either. Anyway, you can go because you, you just... Right. Uh, I'm trying to think whether you're trapping me by go going to get the, the, the egg, but I also want the egg. Well, but you can't put the fire out, right? No. So you're going might... to take another damage Yeah, and if I... you because you would go in and you would end. And I don't have any search cards, so... It just feels like the... the um... Well, the contingency also could be... Uh, kill all who have four or less knowledge, right? So mm. by yeah, so you, you kind of want to have a decent amount of knowledge, but I have a decent amount of knowledge. Yeah. Um, I'm going to discard a card, and I'm going to walk into that new empty space, the only place to go. All right. Taking this two, we're filling this place up with noise. You move me into that next room if you're able, Chris. Yeah, of course I am. And a noise in the corridor, number two. Cave entrance. Whoa. You can move through technical corridors. That's cool. Cave and Maybe these aliens weren't created in this facility. Maybe digging. We've dug too greedily and too deep. There's three there. And a door closes shut, so you're never getting back to the fire. <laughs> the fire's also never spreading in my direction. Don't grab the door. I would love to. Oh. Fire doesn't spread, though, right? My arms are too small. <laughs> okay, I'll get them. <laughs> you're not going to get them. You're all the way across the whole Yeah, thing. look. Holy shit. You're, you're not that short. I'm a <laughs> tiny person. <laughs> you're like you're like a couple inches short. I was in a me. grocery That's store it. two days ago, and this like this lit, like tiny, tiny old Asian lady coming up to me and was like, "Oh, can you get that from the top shelf?" And I was like, "You're taller than I am," <laughs> and I could not. I could reach it less than she could. You're I not felt that like, short. Oh my goodness! Yeah, too. You may move. Oh yeah, into a technical entrance. 
Hmm. Ooh, draw and resolve an attack card. So I get attacked by the intruders in the thick of quarters. That's a neat way. It might be able to, a good way to get out of the basement to the top floor somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those are your two actions, right? Uh, I just just one action. Oh, because you moved, right? Yeah, yeah I so moved. So far now. Uh, I'm going to get out of this room. I'm going to try to find a useful room, guys. Move me one more. Now we can walk up the. We can crawl up the elevator shaft there, basically. Uh, so those are those are staircases. Oh, okay. Cool. The elevator. If we use the elevator, it just goes to whatever floor we want. But these are like the stairwells, and then the the corridors mm -hmm. to the next lobby. Basically. Oh, okay. I guess because it's, it's only two, it's only one step versus two. Mm -hmm. right. um, apparently, the lobby the the stairwells are always dark. They're always in the night. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, this is X, so you don't roll. Oh, for, for beautiful, noise, right? There's no noise. That's great. I hear nothing. And what? This is the other cargo sending pod. Uh, yeah, cargo pod. So, so all of the stuff. There's a lot of uh, important stuff at the bottom, <laughs> isn't there? Are these all twos? Where? Could because these uh, these map tiles are divided into ones and twos. Right. Were there any left over as well? Yeah, there is. There was three twos left over. Oh, okay. Um, but all the ones are on the. Are board. always in. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I have one card left, so I can do one thing. Um, it doesn't feel like I... Well, I guess I could just move into the back of power, because there's no noise there, right? Mm -hmm. That's not that scary. What happens if I pass? Uh, you just hold on to your card, but you can't act again. Mm. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Yeah. Um, I'm... I don't really want to go anywhere, that's the thing. I might try to escape the basement because there doesn't seem to be anything for me down here. So yeah, I'm gonna discard a card. I'm just gonna move into uh, the Late. basement lobby. All right. And I'll roll a noise. Four. Four. You miserable worm. I see, I should have moved. I should have <laughs> moved. Now I'm gonna get stuck with a monster. Yeah, you've got a, like a 50-50 chance on getting a monster, Jeez. right? Jeez. You, I hate everything you stand for. I am glad that I have brought some joy to you. All right, so it's the end of the it's the end of the round. What happens? Uh, the end of the round. Yeah. Uh, we, it's we, a good thing. We'll, we'll look at the rule book just to get the order of operations correctly. Okay, great. Okay, so the first thing we do, we move the time token. Yep. Which you then did. Uh, we would launch the CSS if there was one that was launching this turn. There aren't. Uh, we crossed the red. Threshold, so, so the lights. Number two powers down. Yeah. The lights in floor two power down. Um, noise removal in sections with power, all noise is removed. Then intruder attacks, but there's no intruders on the board. See, this is why I want to put some power. So, yeah. what, what happens first? When we move the track, it powers down? Yes. And then the noise will be removed? Yes. All right, dang. Yes. Because obviously I was just going to go there and move the, right. the stuff well, to if, get rid of all the noise. If right? you had turned this token blue, none of the lights would have been shut off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So the intruder attacks, but there's none that are on the board. Well, then, you, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I really should have just ran there. Yeah. Then the intruders catch on fire if they can. Then uh, resolve an event card. So we draw our first event. You want to read that, Chris? Yeah. Panic! <laughs> Uh, each character with no action cards di on hand discards two ammo. If they do not have enough ammo, they discard one of their items. Do you have any items? I have no items and I have no ammo. Don't you have an assault rifle? No. Oh, because that's not activated yet. No. Yeah, that's a quest item. Right. Okay, that's not activated for me either. Um, the effect of this card also applies to each character with action cards on hand. Oh, if you're if you're in the dark. Oh, and we are in the dark. Yeah, the effect of this card also applies to... Yeah, because there's two, there's two symbols. Um, the top half applies to everyone. The bottom half applies to people in the dark. The effect of this card also applies to each character with action cards in hand. So, so everybody panics, but instead of discarding an item, uh, I'm going to discard this card. Uh, discard this card during the event phase to ignore the in-darkness effect Ooh. of an event phase. That's why I held on to it. Yeah. That's sweet. Because I know the feel of the dark. I'm a lab rat, baby. <laughs> I know what it's like to be trapped in utter darkness for years. You're afraid of the darkness, but I was born in it. <laughs> Molded by it. Um, Where are you? <laughs> I don't um, know what means. I just draw a fire. I, 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 uh, yeah, we did the event. Um, cool, cool, cool. And then we developed the intruder bag. 
Uh, so we where's the bag? Uh, Chris, if you want to draw a token from the intruder bag, I don't want to. Why do I have to do that? Because no intruders here. Your your dainty little fingers are more apt to save us. It's a tiny little larva. Okay, so remove this token from the intruder bag and add an adult token. So that baby alien grows up. That sucks. I don't like that. It does. It does. Chris. This is the one part of the game that I am very glad that you own this game because I never know the order of how this works. <laughs> and I'm glad you're always there to hold my hand and say, so if you own the game, it's your responsibility to figure out how to make this bag grow. Yeah. But basically, you're just pulling out a token, and if it's a certain token, that yeah, it's, token it's not that complicated, up. but like the different aliens, this bag works completely differently right. for. Yeah. And it's very easy to very quickly be very confused. Because all these tokens also, they're used for like three or four different things. Right. So, um, cool. So now we're back to ourselves. We draw five cards. And do you go first now, or do I always go first? Um, I think it rotates. So I think it's. I think it's. I go first now. I think it goes around. That would make sense. Yeah, because right? there's a. Um, oh, there's the starting player the, token, and it's up there. It's a yeah. little raccoon. We'll remember. There's just two of us. Yeah. Cool. Um, neat. Let me look at these cards. See what the heck's going on. Oh, I wish I hadn't moved out of that room now. Yeah, you screwed it up for both of us. Yeah, I. <laughs> I screwed I'm everything so up. Mad. Oh, but I mean, well, I'll ask you on my turn. Okay, you, you I'm gonna do, you do your thing. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to go back into that room I just oh left. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I hate you. You've got to turn the lights on and save us from all this noise. Yeah, I'm trying, <laughs> but you just made the noise there. I know. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, so noise appears everywhere. Noise appears in every. I hear the aliens on every side of me. Yeah. Uh, you don't put it in the technical corridor because there's already noise there. Yeah. And it also doesn't trigger a, yeah. uh, a bailing. Ba basically, uh, we, I don't know if we explained this either. Once, once we roll noise in another token, in another area that already has a token, the, that's when the aliens yeah. will appear. Yeah. We're hearing the aliens everywhere. And if we really hear the aliens from one direction, that's because an alien has appeared. Um, cool. So now I'm in that room. I'm then going to play a search action. To reduce the item counter by one and draw two cards in the same color. And you can choose whatever cards you want. I'm going to take two red cards, Chris. Yeah, you really want to... I, mine were bad, so I hope you get better ones. I hope I do, too. Did you get a gun? I did! I got a scatter gun, baby. Oh, I'm so Put mad. That this card. And you start with ammo on that? Uh, I think so, yeah. It says I've just been putting them at the bottom of the deck. Is that okay for this card? Yeah, that's fine. I, we're, I don't doubt we're going to fly through that whole deck anyway. Yeah. It's only got one bullet. <laughs> yeah, we have got a big scatter there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's like a big shotgun pistol. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, energy weapon, scatter gun, destroy all your enemies. Oh, that's cool. When I shoot it, I can choose to f lose the ammo and then just escape the room without being attacked. Mm. So I guess I can just blind fire it. That's cool. All right, here's what I'm doing. Yep. I'm discarding two cards so I can move carefully into this room. And with my careful movement, that means, I'll put my spaghetti arms here, uh, I can choose <laughs> where I put the uh, the noise. Right. So I'm going to choose to put it here and get an alien. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm putting it there. You are the lab rat. Oh. And then I am going to discard two more cards and use, oh, this is what I was going to ask you, and then I left, so yeah. I didn't. Uh, this has a computer icon in it. Yes. That means I could have used this yes, ability. Yes, I believe so. Yes. What does it do? Let's look at it. Computer action E, choose one room, discard a fire marker from that room, oh, if there is one. Been, All intruders good. in that room then retreat, oh, or swap two chosen power tokens, or peek at the chosen S CSS token. Oh my gosh, those are all incredible. They're very good. I cannot believe I just didn't, I left without doing that. <laughs> Jeez. But that's what happens, you know, and we, we play, whenever we play co-ops, if you make a move, you make a move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rule. Absolutely, and in a game like this where we are working together so tightly and, yeah. and we're going to probably bust this game wide open, yeah. we've got to give the aliens a break. Anyway, I discarded two cards and now I'm flipping that over to the blue side. No. The, the time oh, token. Gotcha. I'm, I'm restoring the power. You're restoring the, the power. backup power. Gotcha. So now that number one will stay active for long time for at least two turns. So I could move it down on the next one and get rid of all these noise tokens. Yeah. So you first you reset the power. Oh, this feels really good. Uh, so the two lowest numbered power tokens must be flipped to the on side. No, no, no. Uh, oh, oh, additionally. You, yeah, you. Oh, you, I can you do both. all of the following. So re first we reset the power. So one and two go on. Then you rearrange the power tokens, 
then if the power token is inactive, it becomes active. I get to do all of that. You get to do all of that's that. That's incredible. So two is, is oh, on. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, yes. And you get to turn on the lights in the basement. Well, yes, that's what I'm doing, obviously. <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. You know what, then? I'm not going to turn two on. If, if I turn the elevator on, can you go to there and go up? Yeah. I, I think I need to... You get in the elevator, and then that's the room you move it up. So I'd have to get to the second floor. Oh, okay. Then I'll leave the. I'll, I'll keep yeah. number two on then. That makes sense. Oh, that feels so. Good. That feels very good. We'll be able to clear out all this noise yes. and escape. I was feeling really trapped in the basement for a second. Yeah. This feels very. Yeah. Good. This feels very good. It's Chris, very exciting. can you? Because we're working together. Can yeah. You just stay in that room for the rest of the game. Yeah, I will. You just keep. Press the button every turn, do nothing else, and then I'll explore the rest of the facility. Yeah, that sounds and good. Okay, Honestly, cool. I'm into it. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's a that's. I will be choosing a certain objective. That's cool. I I really like the light. A sneak peek at my final thoughts. I like the light mechanic. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. All right, those are my two actions: cool. move and completely abandon the computer. <laughs> and I'm gonna search again. This time, I'm gonna get a yellow card. Nice. You get two two yep. cards still. Right? Two cards. That's good. Yeah. Get get some stuff. So that's it. That's it. that's it for the stuff in the room. Yeah. Let me put that away. So that room is empty. Nothing else in that CSS room. I got some for you, Zach. Just hop in the pod. Because <laughs> I got the one that says you can't die in the pod, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah. That's what. That's this one. I, I keep forgetting. Keep There's so many like little things I got to juggle with this game, like deductive things. All right, all right, all right, cool. Um, that was my first action, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see, here's the issue. I'm going to discard both my cards. Yeah. In order to s carefully move into the lobby again. <laughs> and I'll put the noise you in. You can't. There's there's noise everywhere. No, the lobby. The lobby. S SO3. Oh, 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 my gosh. And I'm going to put... No, that's okay, because it's all going to go away. Yeah. Right. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, I'm passing. I'm not going to do... I can't really do anything with my last card. I don't need to anymore. What are you looking at? Uh, I'm just looking up to understand for myself uh, what happens with lights on the, on the staircases. You said the staircases are always in darkness. Now. Yes, but I don't know... So, yeah. It's, it's the staircases is always in darkness... But the, the the lobbies are in those levels. Yes. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Gotcha. So the, all the all the noise will disappear. Around Amazing. Me. I feel so accomplished. I feel more accomplished than I've ever felt playing <laughs> Nemesis. <laughs> it, like that, you changed the entire shape of the game just yeah. now. That's so cool. All right. So you're done. You're I'm done. You're, I'm done. Okay. I've, I've run so out. So let's. So we move the time tracker. Yeah. Oh. Yep. It moves down over red. If it were still red, if I wasn't such a hero. Right. But you were our hero. So you've. <laughs> You saved us a bit. Good job. <laughs> then the aliens would attack, but there are none. Then the aliens would catch on fire, but there are none. And then, uh, and then we get to remove all these noise tokens. All, well, no, the noise would remove at the beginning. Sorry, oh. I should have said that. Oh, it removes at the beginning? Yeah. Well, you told me at the end before. Am I making up? Yeah, because, because you move the thing, and then if the power goes out, you wouldn't be able to remove the... Yes, you're the right. Noise. You're right. You're right. It moves and then it does. Yeah. Uh, also, the vents go away too. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, because they're they're going to be in darkness forever, right? That makes sense. Yeah, there's not like a bunch of light bulbs in the vents. Thematically, we'll play it like that. Yeah. Um, you can let us know if we're wrong. Yeah. You can send all the hate email to me. Save Chris. He's like got a fragile heart. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'm a delicate soul. Uh, our event is power surge. Flip the time token to its inactive side. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stay in that room forever, Christopher. I <laughs> hate this game <laughs> already. Are you kidding me? You're telling me you don't like lockdown, Chris? Come on. Who doesn't love lockdown? Oh. Uh, <laughs> aye, aye, aye. This is Brandon in the peanut gallery. All right. I, I like this. I'm, I hate it now. I, I like you I being pinned it. into this amazing... Maybe I'm not going to turn it on. Maybe you can waste your turns. I'm not going to go back down there. I'm going up. I'm climbing up. I'm getting out of this hellhole. I'm a survivor. I'm going to keep moving. Cool. Um, right, and then we develop the bag. It is... A gooey. And a gooey turns into an adulty. 
I feel like I know what I want to do. I don't know if that's what I should do, but I know what I want to do. It's right going to take like, me half the game to do it, but part I of know me, all my yeah. plans are going to... Part of me really wants to live in the basement and do stuff down here. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and, and put out the fire in the nest, and then I'm going to go and break this door, and I'm going to get an egg, and I'm going to run back over here, and I'm going to research it. And I'm going to run back over here and get an egg. I'm going to run back over there and I'm going to research it. Can you, can only re- you can only research oh, once egg the egg's once. been once. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, damn. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll just explore the rest of the station then. <laughs> so enjoy. Oh, I will. I don't know. It's tough. I don't know if that you telling me that is you trying to tell me or accidentally telling me what the contingency is. Or maybe that has something to do with your objectives. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me this, Zach. Yeah. If it goes over one of the once it passes twelve to eleven, the time tracker, there are two symbols there. Yes. Yeah, so it does it, it, it will two power down if I don't reboot it? No. It just uh, it, this just says, hey, if it's blue or if it's red, we're okay, gonna lose great. power. So I'm not gonna reactivate it then. I'm not gonna waste the time because even if I do reactivate it, the we're next gonna lose thing one we're anyway. gonna lose power. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I go first because you went oh, first. That, that's last also time. clever. It stops you from like feeling obligated to stay Just there. Just like always do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I am going to um, just discard a card. I love this card. It's not going to be able to be used, but it'd be fun in a big game. It says discard this card when an intruder attacks you. Uh, but before drawing an attack card, if there's another character in the room you're in, the intruder attacks the character instead. So they just leverage it's just like. You look like one of me. You look like an alien. No, no not me. God damn. <laughs> That is so a funny. that is, sounds very fun. All right, so I'm moving in there. Whew. Four. Uh oh, that's a bit scary. Oh, I got some over here. I'm good. Can, do you have a way to break the door? Yeah, I got a card in my hand. Oh, okay. How did I run out of cards? Compl- oh wait, no, I just haven't drawn back up again. Yeah. <laughs> was like, uh, oh. and then I'm going to discard a card. Uh discard this one to activate the computer so I will um, swap two chosen power tokens, choose a room, discard a fire marker, or look at a close CSS. No, I'm going to discard this fire marker as was my intention. Okay. Those are my two actions. All right. I'm going to climb higher, higher and higher. Into the stairwell with me. All right. Uh, some noise in four. That's right, right ahead of me. That's right in front of you. Back in, you know, as a survivor, I know that when I hear danger ahead, I just keep going towards it. Um, now, question, Zach. Yeah. I used that computer, so it oh, shouldn't yeah, have eight. been swapped. It gets that, and then we have a new active. Right. So if you're in the room with a computer and a section with power, choose and play one action from the top of action. Okay. And that one is open and close the door. Well, open and close the door, or I'll just do that. Oh wow, yeah. Or peek at a chosen CSS. Or token. move the rover. Or move the rover. What happens? I know there's a lockdown card in there. You didn't tell me what it does. I haven't read. I haven't read any of these cards. All right. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. That's what happens when you just keep <laughs> banging on the computer like an eight. <laughs> All right. Your turn. Okay. Um. Did say this goes on the bottom, so we'll put it on the bottom. It'll be like a cycle to this, I guess. Uh, right, so I moved once, and I'm moving up again into the lobby of floor two. Three. You're okay. You're still okay. Chris, I'm hearing all kinds of aliens up in floor two. <laughs> well, the lights are on. Actually, those those yeah, those they're gonna vanish. Go yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Oh man, that's so good. It is very good. Oh, it feels so good. Because the noise is so scary in Nemesis, right? Because it builds up, and your only way to deal with it in Nemesis is to go to spots of the ships that you have not been before. Yeah. Um, But this, if I like that it feels like we can manage it. Yeah. But, like, as we move farther from the basement, we're going to lose the ability to do so, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. It's going to be cool. Uh, Okay, so you did your two actions? Yeah. Well, I'm going to open this door, then, instead of... Well, actually... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to play this... uh... Oh, I'm very scared here, Zach. I'm I'm very scared. Fine. I'm 
I'm just moving carefully. I'm moving carefully. It makes sense to move carefully. I don't know if it makes sense too. Well, the game feels like it will be long and like it, as long as none of us trigger an alert, mm -hmm. which it can happen. Like if one well, of like, us goes to here. We also know starting off that four three the lights are gonna go off, right? This is gonna oh no, not yet. Not yet. We still have one more. I still yeah. have one more turn. Anyway, so I, I did the computer and I moved. Those are my two actions, right? Cool. Um, right. I will go again. Yeah. Um, or did I only do one this time? No, I moved to the computer, and I didn't do the computer this time. So yeah. I moved carefully, and then I'm going to play this demolition. Yeah. So I'm destroying this door. Ah! <laughs> I thought for a second, like, oh, maybe only one of the doors comes apart like that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he's going to break it. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, this is fun. Um, cool. Uh, I'm going to discard my events card, and I'm going to just risk it for the biscuit and go into floor two. I just need to roll a one, so a you're two, moving a in? four. Yeah. You rolled a three. Oh, oh god. Damn it, Zach. No. This place is malfunctioning. Honestly, I can't. I'm. I should pick the one. My objective should be you dying because I know you will die. I'm gonna have to fist fight this alien. It's almost a certainty that you will die. <laughs> Like I mean, I only die in like play. every game of Nemesis ever. So <laughs> and then when, that feels like such an anticlimactic uh, uh, goal, though. Just try to make you die. I mean, I think. I mean, that is fun. I can just turn off all the lights. Yeah, you can turn off your... all the lights in my room. That's cool. Um, that's I'm not actually very fun. That one. No, no. I think you should. I think you should. Because <laughs> I'm definitely going to kill you. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm trying to work together here. I always have these plans to not work together, but my inclination is always cool to cooperate. So the lights are on in my floor. It says if the light's on, I need at least two cards. I have two cards. Okay. So the alien's not going to attack me, but it's an adult alien. All right. Uh, we got our first alien on the board. We got our first alien on the board. we got to figure out which aliens are which aliens. And this moves. This goes. I think these are the adults. So... Put our first giant. Oh, he's so much bigger than me. I don't like him. Go away. Big I'm alien. very happy to be by my isolation room. <laughs> I just ran out. I scuttered out of my isolation room. What what room was this? Uh, it is the decon room. Hmm. What's that going to do for me? I guess it's broken, so it's going to do nothing for me. It lets you scan your contamination cards and remove infected cards. Oh, decontamination. Cards. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, cool. If you have a slime marker. Gotcha. Um, well, I'm going to, because uh, I am a survivor, and I have my scatter gun. I'm going to discard a card to use my scatter gun action. Just right away. Yep. Uh, discard one ammo from this weapon. Escape from the room you're in without triggering an attack. So I'm just going to move oh. into this, this adjacent spot. Nice. Do you have to roll for noise? Uh, yes, I think so, because it's an unexplored space. Right. Well, it's, you always have to roll for noise, even if it is an explosive. Oh, you're right, you're but right, you're, you're lucky. Right. You're oh my god, I can't believe how lucky you are. Look, look what just turned up. What? Oh yeah, <laughs> that is that's so that is good. ridiculous. That's you're, so you're good. One bullet as a, and there's no, no noise. noise. There's no noise. Are you kidding me? As the uh, survivor, you just jump out. I just run out of the room. See, I this, is, this is the beauty of this game. I these, threw my threw my distraction <laughs> gravel and I ran. These sorts of moments <laughs> that can occur are just. Yeah, if you have, if it's too small on the up top camera, what happened is yeah. I moved into that room, and the random event was that the door shut behind me as I went into that room, so it's saving me from the alien right now. So good. So good. Oh, anyway, your turn. Uh, I pass. Okay. Um, what's my room now? In defense control room. Well, I only have one card, so I can't do anything. I will hold on to this card. Yep. Well, actually, yeah, well, I might want to use that. So I'm going to hold on to this card and pass. All right. So the time tracker moves. The noise things go away. Not in the vents, which is very scary to me. What else happens? You drew an event card? Uh, we're going to draw an event card. Uh, consuming fire. So first, uh, adult aliens and creepers and the queen would move to space two. But that's just an adult. Uh, so it moves. No, it does. Sorry. Oh. Breeders, queen, and uh, oh, okay. creepers. Yeah. So he doesn't move. He stays where he is. Because there's a different symbol on each card here. I'll just show it to yeah, front, yeah. front facing camera very, very quickly up at the top there. So that tells you what aliens are affected. And you just need to remember what sculpts are what aliens, basically. Yeah. 
Uh, set the item counter to zero in each room with a fire marker. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, place a fire marker in each room neighboring a room with a fire marker. Are you kidding me? Fire does not spread through closed doors or technical corridors. So the isolation room and the hive are back on fire again. What the? What the? What the friggin'? Oh my god. You can still go in there. It's just a light wound. Just go down there and grab an egg and get it. Yeah, no, I go down there. It was cost me two cards. Yeah. I'm to grab an egg. It's only, it's only three turns of light wounds. Oh my. Because <sighs> you're going to have to spend two actions to get there, then two cards to pick it up. Yeah. And then two actions to get out. Yeah, and I only have five cards. Yeah, it's great. I I cannot <laughs> believe that. What? This I hate this game. I hate it. This sucks. This game sucks. <laughs> you stayed in a well lit basement alone, and now you are having to deal with an outrageous fire. Yeah. And I went upstairs and <laughs> met an alien and walked away from it, and the door shut behind me. Unscathed. It's beautiful. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh so then we developed the bag. Where's the bag? Do you have it. I put. Oh yeah, I put it over. Choke on it. I will probably choke. When do you draw? You drop at the beginning of your turn. Yeah, that's my own question. You're just congratulating me for always knowing what these this bag does, and I've forgotten. <laughs> it feels like that should be on the back of the. Uh... Yeah, it was on the back of the other one, but it's not on the back of this one. That's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's just so dumb. Always have the things that you need to reference on the back of the rule book. That's just... Yeah. Or on these gigantic pieces of paper. Yeah, there's so much empty space for it as well. It's so sad. Yeah. Uh, adults, return the adult intruder token into the bag. All players perform a noise roll in order. If a player's character is in combat with an intruder, they do not perform a noise roll. Uh, so, sorry, when does the bag get developed versus when the power affects it? Because I already removed some stuff. The bag happens last. The bag happens last? Yeah, okay, so, so the noise power, would be around. So, okay, yeah. So the power, this would move, the power would affect the stuff. It does the stuff, then the bag happens. Yeah, the bag okay, happens cool. at the end of the entire sequence. Okay, great. So, so this is fine. Whatever noise this place is, yeah, will hang around we'll no matter what. Great. Uh, okay, so from a noise roll, where are the two dice? There's one. There's one for me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how dare you I didn't see it here I can tell you what it is for no, it to be fair okay no. what just happened was I rolled the dice on top of a secret objective thing and it flipped over and now I know what it is um, well it's the CSS it's, it, I know when it's going to fly fire that out yeah um, I the other it's way over there it's way over there oh I don't know how about there cool uh, so I have a noise in spot three I also have one three which is Man, how do I put out this damn fire? Maybe you oh, don't. And when that when that monster appeared, what did we have to choose our objective? Oh yeah, we have to choose our objective. No, I would have picked that one. I'm not picking the one where I kill Zach, even though I would like to in real life. Guys, don't believe his lies. He is right now pretend. Per it's still March. It's still it's we're in the Ides. <laughs> We're in the Ides of March still. I know when a knife is coming for me. <laughs> I've chosen my objective. Cool. Um, your turn now first. Yeah. Ugh. This is so annoying. How do I get rid of fire? I can't. So my I was so excited to... To, to, to research? Is that very important to your objective, Chris? No, I just thought it'd be fun. Mm. I think you can still do it. Do you have any way to crawl through? You could go for the cave and just get the heck out of there. You could come all the way up to the defense oh, room. Oh, no, the cave could go into the into there, at least. Oh, yeah, it's true. Well, it's the same as moving in. Mm -hmm. I like. I, I was, you can take two light wounds before you even get a serious wound. So, like, it's not that big a deal, I don't think. Yeah, my little quest is also with the nest, too. I get my quest item oh. I activated in the nest. That's why I was going for there. It's not even that good, but... Uh, anyway, I'll, do, I'll play this card. It's uh, Weird Metabolism. I remove a slime marker. Cause... Okay. Just slurp that slime off you? Yeah. Talk about ASMR. <laughs> Talk about ASMR. <laughs> Jeez. Can I only do one action? 
mm -hmm. on my turn. So you have, you have two actions. You, yeah. so you could like move, move. You could like play two cards. You played one card, so you can do one more thing. Yeah, but do I have to do two actions? No, I can do yeah. one. If you if you pass, then you you pass for the whole. Are you round. sure? I thought yeah. you could just do one and then no. Oh. Well, then maybe I don't want to do that. I've already done it. My metabolism, my metabolism acts on its own. <laughs> Ugh, this is so annoying. You, you can search for items in the cave? Looks like it. Yeah. Right? There's, like, uh, there's an item count. Yeah, I'll just move over there. Okay. Try to find something to put out the fire. I guess. Alright. Oh, so annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> uh, on my turn, aye, aye, aye. I will... Uh, first, I'm going to search. I'm going to get a, a red item. There you go. Thank you. Did you already search that place? No, you didn't. No, I haven't. Yeah. Uh, ooh... Ooh. Ooh. All right, I'm going to take a prototype shotgun with one of two ammo. Let me put that at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my first action. And for my second action, I'm going to discard two cards to use the defense system control room. Uh, reduce the item counter by one. Or place a malfunction marker in this room. So I'm going to reduce it by one. Yeah. Choose a room without a malfunction marker and with an intruder. Oh, never mind. I was going to malfunction your cave. I was going to malfunction your cave, but but I I see that I now have to do it in a room with the. We're not going to do that at all. Give me back the item in that room. I'll take back this action. <laughs> 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 this is what it's like. This is what it's like playing this game with Zach. This may be that this game was only All right. this infuriating or this enjoyable with Zach. I'm, I'm Either or. I'm instead, I'm going to save Desperate Attack. I'm going to need that. I'm going to go into the alert room. Oh, of it's course this one. Yeah. Of course. Hey, if the um, if if this is on fire, can I still like put myself in there and not die? I think so. Yeah, because it would. If it's malfunction, it. it wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah. But if it's on fire, you can. Yeah. I mean, you can lock yourself in a room on fire whenever you like, Chris. I'm, I'm not going to stop I'm you. I'm very happily. If you would like some advice myself. on how to best go about locking yourself in a room that's on fire, <laughs> I can. I'm, I'm a waiting, wellspring. I'm waiting for people to save me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I either put my faith in Zachary or I put my faith in the authorities. The authorities. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so I'm in that room, and that's the end of my turn. All right. I'm going to search. I've got two items. And they're the same. And so <laughs> I will Forgot search again. I've got two items. And they are not the same. Okay, those are my two actions. Cool. Uh, I'm going to discard a card, and I'm going to go and explore this room. So there's one item in here. I'm just going to show the camera what I got. Yeah. What did you do to Zach? Sorry, you're running away still? Oh, door into, closed. Yeah, a door closed behind me. There's one item. I'm in the transmitter control system. Oh, you can send the signal. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. And so this could be kill everyone who did, didn't send the signal. Yeah. That's so I should a, probably go send the signal. That is an option. For sure. Do you have any? Okay, let's see if we'll, we can eliminate that or not. Okay. Do you have any signal ones? They're, they're blue. No. If you tell me if you have a blue, I'll tell you if I have a blue. I don't have a blue. Do you okay. have a blue? I don't, I don't have a blue either. It's a pretty good chance that's a blue thing. Yeah. I have one blue. Okay. <laughs> and blue means... Kill everyone who didn't send the signal. Okay. But I'm hoping that you'll tell me if you see the other blue. So I guess I should send the signal then. I'm going to send No, a I, I have a blue. I said I have a blue. Oh, you have a blue. Yeah, I okay. do have a blue. But I don't have a blue. All right. I like this a lot. Yeah. And in a larger game, you only have one of them, right? Yeah. So the, it's an interesting reason to keep cooperate as well. Like, yeah. I'll tell you if. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I felt okay telling you one. I'm not going to tell you the other one. for. 
Okay, I will also tell you one then, because you you're like you're being honest. I am, you being, have one I am being honest. I have one blue. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I have the green. Okay. All right. That sucks. Yeah. So th there's no way that this one's going to save all of us. Right. <sighs> Greedy corporation. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. Well, I guess I will send the signal then. Why not? I'll spend two cards. I'll send the signal. This, this also, like, I was just reading the instructions. This room is interesting. If someone has sent the signal and someone else goes here, you can use this room action to look at my objective. Oh, really? Say that again? Yeah, so the... Uh, uh, if I send the signal? So transmitter control, I can spend two actions to send the signal or yeah. choose the character with a status marker who has sent the signal oh, and look at their objective. That's cool. That's so, really cool. It, it encourages people to send the signal. But it's also like, I I might want to send the signal, Yeah. but if I send the signal, you could go and check my objective. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I then might not sure, want Make that. sure that you can't. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to. I have a new goal, <laughs> and I know, I know. what I'm going to do. That might have been a bad, bad thing, because now I have this glaring weak spot. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, okay, so you did two actions. Uh, I'm going to pass. Mm -hmm. I'm out of cards. Okay, cool. So what happens? That moves down. This moves down. We oh, lose power in number in, two, right? In three. It's the highest first, right? Oh, is it the highest? I thought it was lowest. Let me double check. Uh, I think oh, it, it might, be, highest. might be lowest. No, it might be highest. I was banking on it being lowest, but I think you're right with it being highest. Oh, look. This is also... Oh, is it? Is this, it no, no. This, this card is to help you with the bag. Oh. So that... Yeah, I take back what I said. But keep looking up what you were looking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The flip the token with the highest number. Ugh. Dang it. I should that's why I should have made the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. I'll go back and turn it back on. That's all I'm gonna do is run around down there. <laughs> I mean, go yeah. ahead, go ahead. I'll send the signal. Get out. I'll find my I way out to the, the rover. You can live down I'm there. I just am so committed to getting to this nest. And I, I don't now, even know why. I think you have an objective like that. Is are there any of the contingencies that make you have to do that? No. No. No, there's some who are like... There's just the knowledge one. I just want to raise my knowledge over four. Right. And I know that you, if I discover a weakness, I get, what, three knowledge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that puts you way ahead. Right? Yeah. Like, that's kind of why I want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's That was my only... That was my reasoning for doing it. Yeah. Right? Because if you have four or less knowledge, you die. So I was like, okay, well, I'll like, I'll do that really quickly. But it feels like I'm never going to be able to explore the rest of the place. I mean, I, I don't know if we're going to explore literally everything with a, in a two player game, right? Because that's a lot of work for two players. Yeah. Um. So I think we we might just have to like agree that there's going to be some mystery. Uh, you just got to try to find what's important for your objectives. Uh, speaking of, let's do our first event. Um. Okay. So that alien moves down corridor three. It's in the lobby of uh, the second floor. Uh, place a noise marker in the technical corridors if there's not one there. If there is, remove one malfunction and one fire token from the pool. Oh. What's the darkness? Uh, the darkness, each character in a room with technical corridors entrance suffers one light wound. All right, let's not move because I don't have a technical corridors, even though I am in the caves. I can get to any technical corridors, but it doesn't count as a technical corridor, That's right? interesting. So it becomes easier now for the place to explode with uh, right. those things, because yeah. these have been removed. That's fine. I'm not too scared about that. Hmm. All right. Uh, we draw back up. All right. So who's you You go... F I go first? See, this is why we should have the token. I go first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I. you went first last time. I'm going first this time. No, but I started. 15, 14, 13. I go on all the... Odd oh, you're numbers. right, you're right, you're yeah. right. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm using the caves, right, to go to the nest. Okay. I'm doing it. And in the nest, I'm taking an egg. You take an egg. You take one of five eggs. What's the nest? Goes in my hand. Let's just read the nest thing quickly. Do you need to make a noise roll when you do that? Nest, 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 nest. No, it's the cave entrance. Oh, oh, if I take an egg, yeah. I hope uh, not. Take an egg. Take an egg from the intruder board. After that, perform a noise roll. Oh, my God. Should I re-roll that? 
Yeah, Seriously. I have no idea what that's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. Oh my god. What is it? It's a one? It's a one. Oh, that's Declan Corridors! Oh, oh baby! God. I like I got out of the basement at the right time. They put too many fun mechanics in the basement. Chris was drawn there like a moth to the flame. Oh, Choose your god. doom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh. Huh. An adult? An adult. What is this? It attacks immediately because I don't have enough cards? Uh... You what is that for? So you're in a, a dark in, room. I'm in a dark room. So you need at least th three cards. Yeah, I don't have three So you have cards. one. So we're going to draw an intruder attack card. Oh my god. Look at it. I don't... I'm sorry I took your eggs, sir. <laughs> um, perched in the dark. The character suffers one serious wound. Oh my god. If the character has three serious wounds, they die, but only if it's in there in the darkness. Okay, give me a serious wound. My leg. The cost of your escape movement action is two. Great. So I can't even leave this room. <laughs> Fantastic. That's okay. I feel good about this. Yeah. I feel good about my plan. Is there a plan? And I took a, and I took a light wound because I ended my turn in fire. Hmm. All right. Your turn. Why would I'm trying to figure out why your item would make you draw an attack card. Well, you'll see on my next turn. Okay. Okay. Um, on my turn. Yes. Um, I'm going to go. Damn. Okay, we're going to this empty room. Uh, one. Cool. So I'm fine. Yeah. No, there's there's noise. All Wouldn't there. all this noise have vanished when the light? Oh yeah, that yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm putting you in darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, but there's a noise in every corridor next to me. Yeah, so now it goes, goes back. Yeah. Cool. Um, CSS control room. Try to escape, leave you in the basement. You can choose which pod to go in? What does that one do? Uh, where's, your, where's your big sheet? You can look that up. I'm not going to use it. All right. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, I should have discarded one. You yeah. can peek at a token. Mm. You may move it one slot in any direction, even if there's no CSS slot there. And you cannot move a CSS token that's on the same slot as a time tracker. Oh, and you cannot move a CSS token into a slot with another CSS token. So you have to wait till it's gone, and then you can push one up. Mm. That seems weird. That seems like. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Yeah, me neither. Maybe I wasn't supposed to put fill all these slots. I'm not sure. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so we're I'm, having a good time. That's what matters. Yeah. Well, he's. I'm having a good time. I'm hating every moment. I'm walking around a completely empty facility, being like, I wonder what ever happened to those alien things. <laughs> <laughs> this screaming coming from the vents. I'm like, mm, we're gonna keep going up. Um, cool. I've gone into that room, and that's the end of my turn. All right. Here's what I'm doing. I'm using my cave plans. It's a one-time use item. If I'm in a room with a technical corridor's entrance, I am. You may move to a chosen explored room with a technical corridor's entrance. Kabloosh. Now you could go here. Oh, I just picked up an egg. Oh, okay. I'm you're, right, do that. you're right. You're right. Uh, draw and resolve uh, an attack card treated as an attack from an adult intruder in darkness. Hmm. So, okay. First in the dark. So the character would suffer one serious wound. Okay, so I just take a serious oh, wound. We're gonna have to go back on this though. That act, that gun thing, you can't use it if you're in combat. Oh my god! You can't climb into the caves because there's an alien in your room. Why? <laughs> Why are you telling me that now? Is that... I didn't see it until just now. Oh my god! <laughs> so you can use the escape action, but it's going to cost you what? Two cards? It cost me two cards. I don't have two cards, so I just sit there and I burn. <laughs> you sit there, you burn, and the alien attacks you. <laughs> You what could, the hell? You could you could use the one you could use the one card the one card to instead of doing nothing you could try to punch the alien. You could punch it with your fists. You can just physically punch the alien. And maybe they would run away. 
How do how do I decide if they run away? On the dice, there's a chance, or when we draw the card, there's a chance he decides to run. I've seen the card. <laughs> oh well, here I'll get I'll get a new one because that's cheating. <laughs> Uh, go down fighting, man. Go down sucks. fighting. Go down fighting. I see you're looking at a grenade. Don't drop a grenade at your own feet. Fight the alien. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting here. <laughs> okay, that was my whole plan. Just jump in. Oh, steal an egg. Jump out. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I see that. That was your plan. It would have worked beautifully too. All right. Well, I'm using my scalpel. Oh, to okay. choose an intruder in the room, it just suffers one injury, and I get a contamination card. Okay, uh, so put that on that on that alien. Yeah, and we draw an intruder attack card, and on each intruder attack card, there is in the top corner yeah. a thing that says how much health the alien has. How much health does it have, Chris? It does he runs away? He, he runs, runs away. Run away. <laughs> he runs away, Chris. <laughs> he runs away. <laughs> So, uh, you roll the noise dice and he moves in. Oh, wait, no. When your action caused the intruder to retreat, you decide where it moves. That's our weakness for the intruders. Oh, it doesn't even matter. You can decide, send it, <laughs> put it in the isolation room, oh, put it right no, in your back. It goes right there, obviously. <laughs> cool. Oh, I still burn to death. You still burn, though. So, I've taken two light wounds. So, another one, I'll take another serious yeah, wound? Yeah, another light wound, you'll, you'll turn, it'll turn into a serious. Okay. Well, at least it gives me a chance to get out for the next round. Yeah. And I, I, that was the that was my one action, and then I pass. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Cool. Um, how come I have three cards left and you're done? Because I did two action two. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm gonna activate the alert room. <laughs> so when the I I'm gonna start the alert procedure. Divide the number on which the time is by two. So now, see, this is what I think, Zach. Yeah, I think you have somehow deduced. I don't know why. But I think you've somehow deduced that this right here yeah. is everyone in the isolation chamber dies. And I think you all you're doing is you're starting the alert. I'm room trying to squeeze you into so the isolation I go chamber. Into the isolation chamber and I die. I wouldn't be that conniving, now, would I? This is not this is not <laughs> a behavior that that is behooving of someone like Ripley. Okay? No. No. But I, I came to this facility as Ripley, and I was like, I'm gonna save all the little girls and cats in here. And I find a fully grown lady living in the isolation chamber, and I'm like, I'm not saving you. Also, you look much. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> yeah, you found Sandra Bullock in here. I'm like, you're going to care for yourself. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um, but yeah, I think maybe you go climb into the flaming isolation chamber and lock yourself in. That'd be fine. I'm turning off all the lights on you. <laughs> We're both dying. This is how this is gonna work. I love that. Like you're like being chased by aliens. The entire basement is on fire. The doors are all broken. You're like, I'm gonna get him. Flick off the lights. <laughs> Maybe that did something. <laughs> how do I open this? How do I get into the bunker? That's the only place. Um. I don't remember why. The, oh, the bunker opens. How does, that, how does that open? When the first player is killed. Okay. And when the self destructs, it gets activated. When is self destruct at eight? Um, or there's some sort of I, there's a room that turns on the self destruct. Um, the CSS or no the the isolation chamber opens when we get to half. Okay. And we're gonna go past that now because I just turned on the alert room. Yeah. So the alert room. So you put a to a, a tracker. Or you put this halfway, right? No, no, no. So it's um. Uh, divide the number on which the time token is on by two. Okay, 11 divided by two is five. Place the alert Six. procedure token on this slot of the time track. The game ends instantly when the time token leaves the slot containing the alert procedure token. So is it rounded up or down? Um, Rounding down. Yeah. So five. Cool. So we have if five turns token, left. I don't know. But yeah. Six. Six, because it's well to go and then well five. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know why. You're, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I can. I very much can. Um, the only thing I'm very worried about is the contingencies. Because I'm squeezing you as hard as I can. Is that recording? Is that not recording? Isn't there a little red dot in the bottom right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, it says recording. Okay, thank okay. God. Thank God. <laughs> Jeez. Is this yeah. useless? <laughs> Have, really, we, have we been, been pretending to have fun for no reason? Yeah, why am I wasting my time with you? God damn it! I could be 
looking up journalists. You could be playing Hearthstone and instead you're locked in a basement <laughs> with an alien that's on fire? Why would you even do yeah, this to yourself? why would I do this to myself? Oh, okay. Much better than Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, sorry. Okay, um, and I can, I'm going to look up in the book real quick. Sorry for all the rule lookups, but I want to find out when exactly this is going to open. Yeah, cause... I would like that too, because I'm going to run there. Because yeah. <laughs> I know that's the only place that's safe. Main gate. At the beginning of the game, the main gate located next to the bunker is closed. As long as it is closed, it is impossible to enter the bunker by any means. The main gate opens during the game in one of the following cases. When the first character dies, by using items or actions in the exit room. Mm -hmm. That's okay, so up there. Yeah. Uh, and the auto destruction op token is flipped to the red side. So if you set this building to explode, it'll open. If someone dies, it'll open, and there might be items that like are like the garage control fob. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was there was well that that lets you move the rover at least, right? So uh, actions that specifically open doors do not affect the main gate. So that's the thing. Uh, also, maybe the computer. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. That's what mm -hmm. I meant when I pointed. Cool. So that's uh, I have one action left. I think. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna just wanna. I'm gonna explore this floor because the lights are gonna well. stay on and all this noise is gonna vanish. No, that's that's gonna power. Down. Oh yeah, because it doesn't go yeah, over. It a doesn't power. go over a power oh, thing. My God, I'm, I'm living in the I land of glorious light. No, emergency room. Oh yeah, no, no, no darkness noise. to find me. How nice for you. <laughs> I, can't, I hate you. <laughs> I'm just exploring a station and having fun all over here. <laughs> hey, let's go. All right, cool. Uh, that's me. I'm living in that station, and I'm done. Uh, so the end of the turn, we move this. This. So CSS pod A launches. Would launch right now. Yeah. And if you had put yourself into that pod, you would be free. So right there. Yeah. Oh, I could have gotten out. You could have gotten out? I could have gotten out. <laughs> Instead of going. Uh, then we do the event. Uh, well, the lights remove all the noise. From your spot, not From mine. My Mine's spot. powered down. Mine is a lovely face, safe place. Um, cool. The adults move down corridor two. Oh, thank goodness. So he would bump yeah. into that door, Ow. right? So he breaks the door. Oh, the door breaks? Yeah. So shouldn't he have broken? Oh, no, he didn't move. He didn't try to go to it. He is going into the stairwell, though. Um, <clears throat> and what else happens on this event? Hatching. Discard one egg from the nest. Each character in the nest. Oh my gosh, you're in the nest. One character in the nest. Why? With no action cards in. Do you have any action cards? No, I use. When no action cards in that. hand is infested immediately by a larva. If no character was infested, put a larva token into the intruder bag. Okay. Well. How? <laughs> so you get a little nice little larva living inside your body. And I just discarded a scalpel, which would have let me remove it. <laughs> You get a contamination card. Oh, another one? Yeah. Great. And then each character outside of the nest in a dark space with no action cards in hand is also infested by a larva. Good. But I'm fine. I'm fine. Good thing it's a light out. Yep. I cannot believe how <laughs> how much my fortunes I mean, resemble yours in every game of Nemesis. <laughs> I mean, every like there was a point where you were like, do I spend like the rest of the game getting an egg and then researching it? And you're like, it feels like that's my entire game. And now that it has become your entire game, but you called yeah. it. You called it at the beginning. Yeah. How how uh how much how what how else can I get research? <laughs> um you can analyze a dead body or a dead alien. So I have to kill an alien. Not or chance. or an egg, but you have an egg. Yeah. Um you also get you flip your thing and get three research two research if you find the archive and use it mm. uh, which we haven't found it could be this building um, there might be another one I don't remember no. all right mm -hmm. you go first uh, cool I'll also <laughs> say because I feel sorry for you you don't need to send this up yeah you have a blue one I have a blue I one. knew you had a blue one did you yeah okay and it's not because I don't want you to look at my objective. It's just, I have a blue. I know you're being nice to me. Okay. Maybe. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's the whole thing, right? Oh, and we develop the bag. We develop the bag. Aliens. 
in there. Oh, it's a blank. Return this token to the bag and add one adult to the bag. Wow, that's lucky. Nothing happens. Cool. All right, so you go first. It's my turn. <sighs> fall asleep. Better not fall asleep. I'm in a basement of horrors. <laughs> I'm burning alive. Ooh. All right. Well, I gotta shuffle this and draw one more card. Um, emergency room. What is the emergency? Probably heal. dress all your wounds or heal one of your. Oh, cool. Um, I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to discard a card, and I'm going to check out this room. It is the cooling system. Oh, that would have been good to know. Yeah, but it's broken anyway. Oh, no. Where is it again? Three? You hear some noise going down that stairwell there. <laughs> it's, it's oh, look, a useful room! I'm not going to be able to activate it, but this 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 one time, it's a one time use ability. It's whale. Yeah. You just you just scream at the noise and it goes away. And wherever there wasn't noise, noise. You comes. scare away the aliens. Yeah. You're scarier than the bad guys. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Um, and that room, you said it was broken, right? Yeah, it's broken. Not function token. And the cooling system turns out puts out fire. I assume. I don't know where the the sheet went. You keep stealing it. Oh yeah, sorry. We have it underneath the mic, so it's hard to reference, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to search this room. Uh, take the auto destruct token and place it three slots forward on the time track. There should be two empty slots between the time token and auto destruct. Place it with the yellow side up. So that's oh, how you can make it. Where we stop cooling like the reactor. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Why would I should set the alert, then set it to explode, then disable your room, then leave? Like, shouldn't this have been too opened? Much. Sorry, but shouldn't this have been opened when you. Yes, set once the alert? it hit white, it should have opened. Yes. Right. Lock yourself. In the fire. Anyway, uh, I can thank goodness I'm going to run Oh, here. can you pass me two yellow cards? I just searched. Watch, another alien's going to arrive and I'm going to die. Okay, just as long as it isn't a three. Not a three. <laughs> you should have stayed in the basement. You were like... Walk further into a dead end? Yes. <laughs> I wanted an egg. Oh my god. Give me the bag. I said I knew it. As soon as I looked at the camera, as soon as I gave it a gym look from the office. Just as long as it isn't a three. Not a three. <laughs> it's an adult. And he's going to immediately attack me because... Oh, no, I have four cards in my hand. Yes. Oh, thank God. Yeah, so it doesn't immediately attack me. It doesn't immediately good. attack me. Because you know it's dark. I have four cards in my hand. Okay, that's great. That's what that is. Uh, and that goes away. And give me a big old adult buddy boy. So I'm deciding between two very excellent pieces of equipment. Oh, well, I'm glad you're spoiled for choice over there. I'm just busy trying to survive. All right, I'm putting this bag down I here. don't want to discard... I have to... Mm. All right, well, I guess I'm getting rid of my scatter gun. I'm dropping it because oh. they both need to go in my hand. Oh, how sad for you. <laughs> and I'll, I'll I get a flashlight instead. Uh. All right, so um, an alien appears back. there. Oh, where sorry. I am. Uh, alien appears. Where I am. Where, oh, okay. Yes, and I'm going to escape and, with. Uh, it's an adult. It's an adult. And I'm going to escape with two. It cost me two cards to get out of there. Very helpful. You one of these. Okay, where's the uh, adult token that you just had? I put it. Oh, you put it back. No, I put it right there. Okay. Cool. Okay. And then I have to spend two to escape, and it'll hit me on the way out, right? Yep. So we draw an intruder attack. Uh, perched in the dark, the character suffers one serious wound. Of course. If you're in the darkness, and you have hit three, three, you die. I'm not dead yet, but I dropped four action cards instead of five, and the cost of my escape movement was two. So, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, there's a medical facility up here if you can get to it. <laughs> I know. I just have to go the long way around, I guess. Oh, man. I can't get through here. Yeah, it's true. You could have just abandoned the lab. You, the lab laboratory must be your objective, right? No. I'm just going that way. Why are you so tunnel oh, vision? I could have you could have here. gone up there. And I just gone up. Yeah. yeah. I just forgot that was actually a room because it hasn't been explored. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Um, and it's because I picked the objective that wasn't around killing you, Zach. Even though I have a grenade in my hand and I could have just thrown it into your into your place over and over and locked the doors. I like was just thinking, like, maybe I go down there, explore that room, and I fight off the aliens to protect you. But I don't care about you. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up. Well, what if we need to? i got to figure out what that is. What is it? Power generator. Uh, and it's broken. Oh, it's another generator. We can turn. I can turn the lights up here. You never needed to stay down there, Chris. Oh my God. You Dumbo. Oh, you didn't tell me that. I didn't know it existed. This is the first time we played this game. <laughs> I don't live in this station. You don't live in this. You you came from here. Yeah, it's more thematic. <laughs> I've just been. All I know is the one room, the room of torture and sorrow, and it appears that the world is like this anyway. I mean, this is pretty much the world. Like, we get out of here, it's just this more. Oh my God. Ay ay ay. Oh no no! If there's uh yeah, if there's an auto destruct token with the other side upon it, discard it or flip a power token to the section you're in. This can be used to get more power even if power is not restored. Mm. So you can always power I can turn on. mine back on. Yeah, that's fun though that you can just oh, set it to destruct. Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Was those were those two actions? No. Uh, that was I moved. Did you search? No, I haven't done anything else. Right. So, and then I'm going to discard this card, and I'm going to come up here, and we're going to roll a roll. No, roll. wouldn't you have to stop here first? Oh, you're right. You're definitely right. I can't just sprint up the stairs. Where's the dice? Um, here. Oh, thank you. There was two. Yeah, that's the cursed one, though. Damn. In the direction I'm going. Okay. All right. I move into here. What can I do with the computer? Uh, right now, you can open or close a door. You can peek at a chosen CSS token. So you can see what's going to happen here. Great. I'm going to use that. Or you that can move the rover. Okay. And close the door. What? Open or close one shows. What? You didn't come to save me? We're both You're going down. You're locking me down here? Yeah, we're both going down. You bastard. <laughs> I just did it for fun. Oh, man. Wait, is there power in that section, though? Oh, I can't use it if there's no power. I don't think so. Is it? Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes it, sense. It's on the other side, I think. I mean, it doesn't really matter, What's but I just on the did back it. Of this? If you're in a room with a computer and station in a section with and in a section oh, with in a power. section with power. Okay, so I can't choose can't. and play one action from the face up computer action card. Hmm. Cool. So we you couldn't have done that. So I couldn't have done that. Okay, I won't. I'll do that. put that back in the top. Uh, so I keep my one card. That's okay. I'm gonna need that one actually. <sighs> and uh, I guess I pass. It does really feel like. I think on alert more players in a game, there'd be more people like with a vested interest in turning the power back on. Yeah, yeah, but like one person doing it, it's not a thing. I don't think. Yeah. Oof. All right. It's not too bad so far. Oh, there were friggin'. Ugh. You get your card back for for doing that. Yeah, thing. yeah, I did, but I just noticed that there were items there. I thought, oh, there's no items in the way that I'm going, so mm -hmm. I discarded my search, but I should have held on to it. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe gotten some medical things. To keep that would have been very helpful. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend my last card, and I'm going to move into this this room now that the door is unlocked in front of me. Uh, and I'm going to roll this dice. I'll be rolling one. I told you that it's was a the one. first one. It's a one. Where's the bag? Oh, I, I put it down here. Oh, cool. Oh, it, here's the other dice. It's interesting. A game that takes up so much table space, and then with filming equipment everywhere, it's like, hey, yeah. use the floor. Yeah. <laughs> It really isn't like you just have your own area, and yeah. it's just that the cards are large, right? Yeah. And there's there's so many different types of card decks, and you have your token tray, like. Mm -hmm. But the actual game board is just it's the same size as Rising Sun. Yeah, and well, like Rising Sun takes up a whole lot, a lot of space too. Uh, it's blank. This is this is rigged. I've never seen you play like this before. 
That's because usually Brandon's here and I will throw myself into the flames in order to destroy him. <laughs> but he's not here. So I can play intelligently now. <laughs> I don't need to betray myself and my own convictions uh, in order to destroy Brandon. You destroy yourself. I, apparently. <laughs> I hope you figured that objective. Beautiful. I'm out of cards. You're out of cards? Yeah, I passed. Cool. So this moves. Um, The lights go off in my section. Good riddance. <clears throat> well, you're not there anymore. No, I'm not. All the sections are uh, powers out, though, so yeah. that's not good. Don't worry, I'll turn it on. Uh, then the event. Fire in the hole. So first... Where did it go? There's more fire? <laughs> so all of the adults move down corridor one. So they just, they just switch spots. Hey, you, you see that human? No, I'll go this way. Cool. Fire in the hole. Place a fire marker in the cargo sending systems A, B, and C. Each character there, with no action cards on hand, suffers one serious wound. So this one's already on fire. Right, and do we know where the other ones are? Uh, that one's down here. I don't know where C I don't is. Think, yeah, so I don't think we do anything with it. Yeah. Cool. That's not too bad either. Right. Although the fire is starting to build up. Now we draw back up. Okay. Um, and it is odd, so you go first. Yeah. Well, I have four cards. So. Oh, and let me uh, develop the bag. Oh, did I? I don't think I rolled for noise when I moved. Moves. No, there would be noise, right? Yeah, there should be noise. So I should have rolled. Okay, and while you're at it, so roll that first. So a, a one, a noise would have gone there. Cool. And then I would have rolled. And noise. All right, so also. And it wouldn't have gone. Okay, cool. I just developed the bag. Yeah. You'll have to make a noise roll. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Four. That's actually pretty good. Nothing. I hate you. I hate you. I love me. This is the best. I'm, I'm going to delete this footage. <laughs> no one can know that you're one game of Nemesis that you... I'll, I'll play that again. I'll play it again. We can record as many times as you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, How's it going? Horrible. It's amazing. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Brand Brandon, just so you know, the audience has already seen. Just so you know, as a recap. A recap for both of you. Yeah. We both started in the basement of this facility on Mars. Okay. We found the laboratory and the place where the aliens have been coming from. Perfect. Chris was like, I think it's going to take the entire rest of the game, but I am going to research these eggs. And I said, I'm leaving the basement. The basement caught on fire. He's like, I'm still going to get the eggs. Aliens started appearing in the basement. He's like, well, I've already committed to getting the eggs. Well, no. Okay. I was in the, I was in these cave entrances. I, I jumped to the nest. I took an egg. And then Zach said, make a noise roll. There's only, I was like, okay, I can't roll a one. And I rolled a one, and then a giant alien appeared, slashed me so that I couldn't escape, and then I couldn't use my other item, which would have sent me out of the fire, so I couldn't use that because there was an alien there. So now I've been limping along through flames <laughs> as this lab rat, whom my character is literally Sandra Bullock from nice. from Bird Box, yeah, blind as a bat, just <laughs> trying to make my way. I've got a larva inside of me. And it's got two contamination cards. I draw four cards every round. Oh, God. On the other hand... Like, you know what I'm doing on my turn? I'm researching an egg. On the other hand... (laughs) I'm researching an egg. (laughs) On the other hand, what I've been doing is I walk to the next floor, which has the lights on so the aliens don't want to go there. Yeah, because I also was like, okay, I'm going to turn the power on. So I turned the power on. It's actually like, okay, great. He went out there. I'm like, oh, his power's going to go off. No, actually, my power went off. (laughs) <laughs> First. So I've been in the daylight. No aliens want to come near me because there's been too much light. I walk into every room. Nothing happens. I get items. And I keep turning things off in the basement. So he's just screwed. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Anyway, put my, put my friggin' egg up there and turn it. Give me two. Give me three. Three knowledge. I'm a smart boy. See, I'm smart. Yeah, you're real smart. <sighs> Not afraid of the dark. Always resolve the lower value of surprise attack. So I don't even know what that means. But that, that, that means, uh, you know how there's two two different things on the back? You always do the lower. Yeah. And then I can search and get, it, get it some healing, maybe. The ship is cool. It's not a ship. This is a Martian base. <gasps> so this is the surface. This is level, level two, and that's the basement. Oh. They're the same, but it's going to come in handy, hopefully. All right. I'm going to get to this rover, man. I know I'm going to move it. <laughs> we'll turn the power on, go back over here, and move it away <laughs> so you can get to it. Um, what's the uh, what's this room I am and do? Uh, what's the it called? Reservatory, repository? That's the that's the the one that starts. 
Right? Yeah, I know. What's it do? Well, it should be in the, in the book then. Facility workers start well, it's here. It's right here. It's right on this one. These are two different sheets. Oh, and you can craft equipment here. Cool. Facility. Oh, so there's two different. So if you if I was the janitor, you would have started there. I would have started there. Everyone that's supposed to start that works in the facility starts in the repository. Yeah, and we're the, we just happen to pick the two that start the two the, test subjects. Yeah. Gotcha. That's fun. Okay, so like we we escaped the prison. Did we? <laughs> oh, I have. You were still down there. You you got you you're a lab rat who got it and you're like, I'm the scientist now. <laughs> and I was like, No, I'm getting out of there. And you're like, I will replace. Look them. at the knowledge. I'm just saying. I mean, you are very knowledgeable. I'm just saying. Oh my god. All right. So the retarded characters in the room may perform the craft action. They do. Let me discard one for your item. Sure. The thing. Okay. I swear to God, if the archive room is this room right here, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Probably not even on the board. Oh my god! It's a guaranteed one in the book in the game. Uh, and oh, one okay. in the. Can you use your long arms. Put that in the uh, vents over there. Yeah. Cool. I found the vent control, which I'm not doing anything with. That's my second move. Oh, actually, that's my first move. Yes, yeah, so my first move. I'm gonna search this room, and now that I'm done my my thing. Oh, that's cool. You can just kill an alien. That's next to a technical corridor as long as they're not next to a destroyed uh, door because you basically like shut all the doors and you and put a vent suck thing all and the, the air yeah suck all the air in. so everything in there dies at the end of the at the end of the round i like that everything in there dies can i close it on you no <laughs> choose a room with technical corridors entrance the corridors connected to the room must not contain any destroyed doors close the doors in each corridor Connect it to the room, remove a fire marker from that room, and place the venting token there. If any of the doors in the in corridors connected to that room are open or destroyed before the current player ends, remove this token immediately. But if the token remains in the room at the end of the current player phase, all players have passed, everything in that room dies immediately. Hmm. Both characters and intruders. So you can just kill someone immediately. Anyway, how many cards do you have left? Three. Oh my god. So it was your turn. Well, I better get out of there. <laughs> I Press in the intercom is like, are you still down there, lab rat? Okay, are you going to kill me right now? Uh, no, I mostly want to escape. You mostly want to escape? I kind of, I, I think it's hilarious if you die and I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> because that's hilarious. That is pretty funny. Because I'd like to do an item action. Yeah. And I will... Right. If you promise you're not going to just vent my room. Right. And if you do that, and then I vent my, my room, you can't escape, right? Correct. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can't take that I like, chance. Well, like, here, to be honest, Chris, like, I, I, I feel good. I know you want to escape. I feel good to escape, but I also, I'm a little worried about these contingencies, and I know there's a room somewhere that lets us find out what those are. <laughs> I think it's down there. I think it's this one? Yeah, I think it's that one. And so I kind of want to go there, but I'm going to check this room up here first. Yeah, like I can't get there. You still have the thing that lets you crawl through the corridors, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. So you could escape to any room in the ship now, or the, the facility. To a chosen explored room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if I if I use this to not, because every literally every room but two have been explored. Yeah. But I just want to use I just want to use my healing mm. to do this. Let me just see how many cards I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna drop four. All right. I need to move because I do not trust you. So I'm moving. Would you have killed me for funny for funnies? Mm? Would you have killed me for the funnies? I would have. Yeah, I would you have would shut have. the door. For, I would absolutely <laughs> oh, yeah. shut the door. I knew it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm glad I moved. I'm glad I moved. I thought. See, I would have loved to see you scramble to escape, and I'm like, you've got so many items. I'm sure you have some way to blow something. No, up. no, because they all cost cards, mm. and I'd be out of cards, right? Gotcha. <laughs> uh, and I only had four cards. That's why I don't have the extra. Darn. Ones. Cool, it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to discard this card, and I'm going to go check out this last room, which is also the exit room. No, you got to go to the lobby first. Oh yeah. 
Do I want to take that 50-50? I'm going to discard two cards and silently move that way. It's not a 50-50. You just don't roll the two. All right, I'm going to just wait. No, I'm going to do it normal. Let, let it roll. Nah, I'm going to... We can't take things yeah, back. Yeah, don't take the chance. Yeah. We're going to go here. I'm going to put some noise in 3-4. Nice. Yeah, that's where it is. I got it. <laughs> just let me get it. Just let me get it. Just oh my god! <laughs> All right, you done? Yeah. That's the end of my round. I got one card left when I comes back from. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, okay. And then on my turn, I will. I'll walk into that that room. What is this? It is broken, and it's the surgery. Zach, I need to know how to get more <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> I mean, we have all the, the things here, right? Uh, but here, I'll, I will quickly go to the, the knowledge page in the book, and I'll read all the different ways. Because I did this not to kill you. So uh, what is this one? This is a one. So it's guaranteed to be... So analyzing a weakness in the laboratory room, or using the analyze tool set, which is an item. That's the archive. That is the archive. Gains you three knowledge. Uh, using a computer action, there's a specific one that gives you one knowledge. There's the discovering the nest gives you one knowledge. Using the archive room, the character activates their token and gains two knowledge. Using some specific items or actions in the item deck or on action cards gains knowledge. So if you want knowledge now, you either need to kill an alien and shove it into the laboratory. Uh -huh. Find that computer that gives me the one knowledge. Right, which means turning on the power somewhere mm -hmm. and then cycling these these computer cards. Mm -hmm. I could do that. I'm by a computer. Um, or getting to this archive, which is not too hard. You could technical corridors to here and walk around or just run. I only have four cards. I know. I would get out of the... Uh, it's tough because also the stairway is being blocked by an alien now. Yeah, I'm not that worried about that. You are kind of pinned in. What other rooms are there? There's a bunch of computer rooms up here. You could get up to this. Where's the computer? Is there room? a computer in the surgery? No. No. There is. Where's the power? This one lets you turn on the power, right? Just in this section? Yeah, but it's malfunctioned. Yeah. This is my best bet, but you're going to vent me. I mean, I'm not in the space to vent you right now. Yeah, I can always run away. Yeah, because I'll, I'll always end up arriving there and giving you an opportunity to leave. Yeah. Well, unless I make that here. Yeah. And at this point, I kind of want to go to the archive as well, so please discover it. I can get, get through this. Please discover it and I'll crawl through the corridors. There. I'm not doing that for you. <laughs> I'm doing my computer thing. Cool. I have no more actions, so we do the end of the turn stuff. All right, yeah. So we move the round tracker. So we move the round tracker. Yeah. Uh, no launch this turn. Um, then we do... Lights are all off. Yeah, so, so the noise Nothing stays. happens. No intruders are going to attack because no one's in our spot. We draw an event. The adults are going to move down corridor four. So they go to unexplored rooms? Do they explore it? No, they don't explore it. We just know they're there. That item, there wasn't an item deck. I just couldn't get oh. it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can move. That's good. I will build with such short arms, Christopher. <laughs> cool. Then scent of blood. Place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to a room with a character who has any undressed serious wounds. So me. Yeah. So me. Place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to a room with a character who has any undressed series room. Cool. So they're coming towards you. If you're in the dark, place an adult intruder in each room with a character who has any undressed serious wounds. Are you wounds. kidding me? <laughs> what the shit is this? What are these cards? <laughs> Woo, turn on the lights, Chris. Why are you leaving them off so long? I was trying to turn on the lights. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. 
Uh, uh, um. I'm just here to keep you company, Christopher. It cost me, I only draw four cards, and it cost <laughs> me two to get out of there. Cool. Um, does he attack me? Uh, no, because the, the intruders attack before the event phase. So he doesn't attack you right away. Oh, my God. Um, but that's very funny. And I can't turn it on now because you can't do a room action with a monster, I think. Mm. Part of me kind of wants to just get in the rover and wait for you to die in this door to open. <laughs> um, I guess that is the archive. The store is not open yet. There's no computer here, and the power's not on. I really can't do a whole lot up here without the power. Yeah, so come down and deal with some of these monsters. With your guns. Your, with your guns that you aren't using. I know. To shoot any monsters. You've loaded up on guns. I know. I'm just a lab rat with a little... <laughs> precious little egg. <laughs> I, I have a card. One of my cards is, because I'm a survivor, I can crawl through the vents just when mm -hmm. I want. But I don't have it in my hand. So I can't get down there down there um fine i'm gonna try to save you chris no i'm leaving anyway yeah well i'll do whatever you want i don't care i, I mean don't, nothing matters anymore it's basically me just because i want the door open but it's i don't not. even want to be around anymore oh yeah because you want me to die so then it opens yeah yeah um it's like oh i sensed a taste of blood <laughs> Access granted. <laughs> I think, where's the exit? Is the exit room on one of these sheets? The exit room? Yeah. No, no, that's the exit room where you're in. Right. I just want to know how what, what I need to play to get, on to the, get rover. In the rover. To get in the rover? Might have to check the rover. Yeah. You can see these pretty easily. The other ones were better that you couldn't see. Like, I can read almost, like, pretty much everything. Oh, well, I haven't, I haven't gotten any contamination cards, so I wouldn't know. Uh, so it costs two cards to get into the rover. Uh, simply move the, the rover with your character to the bunker. Okay, you can't get in the rover if the bunker's not open. So it costs you two cards. Yeah. Oh, and that's what the environmental suit would be. So you could you just, just walk, walk out. Across. If you have the enviro suit, perform a noise roll. And if no new intruders will show up, you just walk across. Yeah. Damn. Cool. All right, so I can't escape. I have to kill you to get, yeah. Mm -hmm. So come down and kill me. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go into that stairwell. Be in the lobby. The lobby. I don't like this. Um, maybe I go down this side. No, that's not gonna scare me there. Yeah, I'm gonna move quietly into the lobby and put some noise behind me. Mm -hmm. And how are you gonna get out of there? I'm going to move quietly into the stairwell and put some noise ahead of me. <laughs> this might be a terrible plan. Oh, That's it. That's my turn to turn. Yeah. I'm deciding because I could go here and then use the tangent quarters, go to the emergency room to start dressing my wounds. Um... So when I escape, he'll attack, though, right? Uh, so you play, I think, two cards to escape. Right? I have to play two cards, yeah, because of my leg. Yeah, so you play two cards to escape. And they'll uh, attack Then we me? draw an attack card, and he may or may not attack. I'm going to be dead, because it'll be like, if you have three serious wounds, you're dead. Yeah, it might not be an adult attack, though. He might not do it. There's a chance. If, the, if that is what happens, and you die right now, and I just made all this noise behind me, and now I can't get out. I'll be so upset. Is that a surprise attack? No. Uh, no. What's a surprise attack? A su surprise attack is when the alien first arrives and attacks you. Oh, okay. All right. So that's not going to happen. All right. Well. <sighs> you have to do something, Chris. Make the choice. Yeah, all right. So you're running away? I'm running away. He does attack. I'm, I'm running this way. 
The character suffers one serious wound. If they have three wounds, they die. Only in the darkness, but yeah. But I'm in the darkness. You're in the darkness. So I'm dead. You're dead. The door is open. The path is clear. I don't think it opens. It just no, gets it doesn't. moved. That sucks. You know what I had in my hand? I had this emergency elevator key that I can use even when the power isn't there. So I wanted to lure you down into the darkness and to try to kill me and then hop into the elevator, go up to the top and hop in the <laughs> rover and run away. That's what I wanted to do. That would have been sweet. That would have oh, been sweet. And if this thing didn't friggin' turn on, like arrive, I would have just activated, I would have turned on the power in the elevator in this, make sure that all the noise went away. Right. Then I'd able to be able to run towards the archive or something or get out of there, right? Or keep doing the computer thing. Mm -hmm. Um all right, and, and before I had some caffeine pills so that I could get like, rid of my contamination cards. I could draw three and get rid of all contam all non contaminated. But anyway, I'm de I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Uh, well, I'll just quickly play out. I'm gonna try to get up there. So you're going back? Yeah, I'm going back. You're gonna you're gonna, gonna face gonna, an alien. I'm gonna have to face an alien. Yeah. I go back into that lobby. It is an adult. I'm in that lobby with an adult. Yeah, all this goes away. And so you moved in when you didn't have any cards left, right? Yeah. And oh, so, so that immediately adult attacks. immediately attacks. <laughs> See, this is great. You're you're reveling in your own triumph, <laughs> and instead of passing, or you have all the time in the world, you're like, yeah, okay, now I can go for the door. Now this, now this monster's going to eat you alive. Character suffers one serious wound. If the character has three serious wounds, they die. So I get a serious wound. Yeah. It's not going to be that bad, though. So my body is just horribly wounded. Yeah, you can only draw four. You can only draw four cards. That's, That's kind of shitty. It's awful. It's awful. Uh, so at the end of the round, um, this counts down. Yeah. The intruders attack, so I get attacked. Yeah. Take another wound. Blood chase. The character suffers one light wound. Well, that's, that's a good one. That's not bad at all. Uh, and gets the slime marker. If the character was attacked because of an escape action and has any un un undressed serious wounds, the intruder follows them into okay. the next room. So that's fine. That's fine for me. And then they all move, right? Or do they, yeah. do they move He doesn't that? move if he's in the same spot as me. And then we do the events. But do the other ones move? Yeah. Oh, the events that I'll show you. That was just him attacking oh, okay, me. Now gotcha. we do the event. Uh, so they all move except for the one in my spot goes down. So it's two and four. I don't know what that means. Two or four? Maybe. I've not seen that before. No. Maybe both? Two then four? Yeah, let's say it like that. Yeah. Two. I'll look it up afterwards. Four. But I don't yeah, think they're it's gonna not going to really affect. Yeah. Uh, flip four. the power token in the elevator to its inactive side. Four. Place a malfunction marker in all elevator rooms. Two. Remove this event from the game and shuffle the events deck. Hmm. There's a malfunction marker in, in all the rooms now? All of the elevator lobbies. The lobbies? I'll shuffle those. Cool. Oh, we don't need... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says remove from the game shuffle, right? We only have one, like... Yeah. Turn. You want to get the malfunction markers? Yeah. So three of them. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. The newest dexterity game. <laughs> Nemesis. I thought you didn't know this function as a dexterity game as well, eh? Mm-hmm. Those short armed with us. <laughs> you have normal size arms. I know I have normal size arms. <laughs> Three, four, only four, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm dead, so you go. Okay. Escape, get in the rover, and you've sent the signal. That was your objective. I'm going to play Desperate Attack. I get one contamination card. And then deal two injuries to a chosen intruder. I'm going to do two injuries to him. Oh, I don't know why you're trying to kill this guy. I'm not. I'm hoping he leaves. I thought he's going to leave towards the surgery. Oh. I think here. I'll just hold it. Because, yeah. Uh, two injuries. Um, check the injury effect. If the, in, in, uh, if the intruder stays in your room, it attacks you immediately. It attacks you immediately. Uh, yeah, it attacks me immediately, so but adults don't attack. Oh, yeah, nice. So, nothing bad for me. So that 
didn't scare it away. But you're going to shoot it with your gun. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. I'm going to fire my gun, my prototype shotgun, so I lose an ammo. You got it. That was pretty good. Yeah. Short arms. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, you always deal at least one injury except on a blank. Uh, but I'm also going to use a flashlight energy. I don't think it cost me an action. Uh, so discard one energy from the flashlight to use an advantage die when shooting to ignore the darkness mm. effect. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to use that. It doesn't hit because it only no, hits the small uh, ones. You always right? deal at least one injury except on a blank. So it's not so a blank. Does, yeah, so it yeah, does so hit. it does one damage. One damage. So you see, so we'll it's up three he, damage. He's not dead. Not dead. God wow. damn. That was one of my cards. I have no more. I don't know why you're trying to kill this guy. You could have you could have just escaped with a careful action and then jumped in the rover and left. Well, I'm gonna escape now, but he's gonna attack me as I go. I didn't want that. <laughs> so I He's I, attacked I, you now. It's okay. I'm gonna escape now. Uh Blood Chase. Oh, if you had just punched him, you would have killed him. Why you you god damn you, Chris? <laughs> so you're, you're giving me multiple instructions at once. Um, so the character suffers one light wound. Oh, and it chases you. So you yeah. get a serious wound, and then he chases you. I got you a serious the wound now. <laughs> God damn it! No. Oh, who's the survivor now, Zach? It's none of us. <laughs> it's bitten out my eyes. I'm always in the dark. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Oh, it follows me to the room. God, <laughs> no. Well, you can still punch it. Oh. I, I, yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to discard a card to punch it. I get immediate contamination. Yeah. And I, uh, I'm i always in the dark. Can you can you do it? Can you do that? If I had five knowledge, I could use my flashlight to ignore the intruder attacks. Who needs knowledge? I got knowledge. <laughs> I don't have any knowledge. Harvest my brain. I can't do it, though, so I'm just attacking normally. Okay. Where's the attack dice? I hit it. It hits. So it's four damage. One, Yeah, so one more damage to yeah, it. Yeah, so it's four. It's at five health. <laughs> it's standing. God damn. No, it's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Because I guess we didn't explain this. Uh, whenever, you, whenever, whenever you're attacking an alien, you draw one of these cards, and whatever health they're at, so there are these handy dials to keep track of their health, which are amazing compared to the original. And then whatever health you're at, uh, what... You, you compare it versus the card that you just drew. So on Zach drew one and it had a five in the top corner. So, so this for this attack, the alien has five health. Yeah, but he has four health. Whereas if he had just punched it the last time, he would have killed the alien and been free to run away. Yeah. I really like these cards. The, the idea is like we don't know what their anatomy is or how to hurt them. Yeah. So we're never sure how much damage will kill it or yeah. what kind of damage will kill it. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes the aliens die with like one HP, yeah, and some of them have like a dozen health. It's really yeah brutal. Um, cool. All right, so that's the end of my turn. So the aliens attack me. First, the timer moves down, right? The timer moves down. The game will end next turn. The game will end next turn. Yep. The alien attacks me. That's a. Dream. I get a light wound. <laughs> Honestly, Zach, I want I want one of us to make it out of here. I'm gonna alive. make it out. I'm gonna I'm the survivor, and yeah. I'm gonna keep moving. Yeah, thematically. Um, yeah, <laughs> Boy. I'm just like I'll turn the lights on for you. <laughs> You'll come back for me, right? <laughs> Damn, it wouldn't matter. I have no eyes left. Um, cool. So it attacks me. Then we do the event. All the aliens move down corridor two. Discard one egg from the nest. Each character in the nest with no action cards on hand. Is infested by a larva. Okay, I'm not in the nest. If no yeah. character was infested, put a larva into the token bag. Each character in the dark outside of the nest with no action cards on hand is infested by a larva. Here, you can just take mine. I'm going to take your larva. It probably <laughs> is you. <laughs> you it's out. what's left of you. It's come from me. Uh, and I get one, one contamination because I have a larva now. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, that's everything. I'm going to shovel this up. I hope you don't. Shuffle, shuffle it good. Don't draw the four contamination cards. So what I have to do now is I have to kill this alien. Yeah. 
Then you get into the the rover. Yeah. Make a noise roll, and no alien will show because there's no noise yeah. there. Well, there's uh there's some vents. They, oh yes, the there's vents. a chance that they'll come out of the vents for me. Okay. I can only draw four. Yeah. Didn't draw any contamination cards. I drew one contamination oh, card. All right. So I have one chance to attack yeah. and kill him. And then you use the other two to get out. This is pretty exciting. It is pretty exciting. Which card do I use? I can't use my gun. Can't use my flashlight. This is sucks. Okay. Uh, I got a grenade for you. If you wanted it. I'll throw it, happily throw it in there from the grave. No, okay. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to discard repairs. I'm going to play my Thermite Charge. Uh, choose one room, the one you're in or one neighboring. Place a Malfunction Marker. It's our second last Malfunction Marker. Yeah. And a Fire Marker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in this room, all characters and intruders in this room, including you, suffer one injury or light wound. Nice, so smart. Two light wounds. Smart. He gets one injury. We yep, draw a card. So he's at five. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Wow. Gonzo. I spent two cards. I get in the rover and I drive. No, to you save. gotta do a noise roll. Oh, well, yeah. But For the, you, if you roll, if you roll four or three, you lose the game. Is that what it is? Well, there's no noise in my area. Yes. It's oh, you're right. Corridor. The technical corridor is. I keep forgetting. I saw no noise over here. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't remind you of that. Let's just, I'll, I'll, I'll edit it. I'll edit it so that you can win. Well, let's see. Let's see what kind of alien it is just for the sake of finding out what eats me. It's just an adult. It's the adult. He comes back to life. <laughs> he just He's the same one. Ay, ay, ay. He's like, nope. Just kidding. Um, well, so you, so then the round tracker moves and the game's over? I believe so, yeah. And so you're not in the bunker, so you die? Mm -hmm. I'm not in the bunker, so I die. But for the sake of argument, just like, let's play it out. No, well, because it says... Uh... No, I just want to see what would have happened. Oh, just okay. For, like, the, the well, I th let's, let's, assuming I had gotten out. Yeah. Because I didn't. I, got, I die in the facility. Yeah. Let's, let's do the end game stuff, and we'll see what things would have been like. Yeah. Cool. So let's just end the game. Cool. So first, contingency check. Reveal the active contingency token and apply its effect to all living characters. What was it? So the contingency was kill everyone in the isolation room. <laughs> so <laughs> I, had no I was chance. pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, there's no way to check these, but there there is a way, but we didn't. We didn't get to do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So um, I'm glad you didn't lock yourself in. The I wish I did. I wish I had survived <laughs> long enough to do it. That was my last ditch effort, and that was how it ended. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. Uh, contamination check. Each living character, either locked in the isolation room or safe in the bunker, uh, or in a CSS pod, checks their contamination card. The player uses the scanner to check all contamination cards in their action deck. So this is the scanner. You just stick these contamination cards in, and you see if it reveals the word infected. So mine does reveal infected yeah i guess you can't really see it but uh there's always a number of different uh combinations but it, it's not that great because i could i read that i was infected actually although i thought it said imp infected so cool so infected players or players who have a larva on their board uh shuffle all their cards to create a new action deck and then draw the top four cards if there is a contamination card in those top four, the character dies. Okay, that's not so bad. I only had one. In no, I think I, I think I had two infected cards. Yeah, both of my cards were infected. <laughs> and you had a larva on you. And, and I had a larva on you. were doomed no matter what. And then do what, what contamination cards did you have? I have two. Oh, I didn't even look at what yeah, they I'll were. Yeah, I'll check them for you. I do have a larva on me, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, you're infected. I'm infected. And you're infected. There must be more infections. Maybe. This time around. Or we didn't shuffle that. They were spelled right. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Because yeah. the old infected cards had, like, infected spelled wrong four times. If yeah. It, yeah. No, no, no. There's, there's two. There's, uh, I'll show you on this one. Top one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I shuffle these up, and I draw the top four. No. 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 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was doomed no matter what. You're doomed no matter what. But what was for the sake of argument? What was if your, I had if I had not? So if you had not, then we then we go to objectives. we reveal our, our objectives. Uh, I was waiting for rescue. Send the signal, which yeah, I did. I knew you'd have that one. And start the alert procedure. Oh, and start the alert procedure. That's yeah. why you did it. I did both. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Mine was learn and run. At least two intruder weaknesses must be discovered, and your character has knowledge of seven or more. That's why I wanted knowledge so much. The right. whole game. Well, my other one was make sure character two cannot survive. I wasn't lying about that. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm not going to pick that one. Because I'm not just going to like... Should've. We should have. We could have thought more about it. No, nah, because like if I pick that one and I, like here's... Well, we can we can do this in like a final thoughts thing. But like if I pick that one uh, and I just killed you immediately or got you killed immediately, then it's like, oh, thanks for inviting me over. Now I get to play the game by myself while you watch for five turns. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, th I think the turns go pretty quick when there's just one person. That's true. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the playthrough of Nemesis. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to stop the camera, flip it around, and then do kind of a final thoughts or first impressions uh, about what what we liked about this. I mean, if you if you watch it all the way through, you you probably will know, but it's just kind of a wrap up and the comparisons between the two ne the two versions of Nemesis. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk a bit about that as well. Not all people are crazy enough to watch a whole playthrough. So yeah. We're going to summarize it for all those 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 weak board gamers. Out yeah, there. exactly. You you're the good <laughs> ones. You're the good ones. Anyway, see you over there or not, and have a great day. And thanks for putting us on in the background and. Uh, Hope you have fun playing Nemesis as well because that was a that was a fun game. Bazinga! God damn it! <laughs> Cowabunga was better. Was it Cowabunga? It was before? Cowabunga. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, I know why you don't have a catchphrase. It's so hard to keep them straight. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in a second. <laughs> Bazinga! Oh, so it good. was Cowabunga? It was Cowabunga. Oh, no. It made me laugh so hard. I was like, ah, went, went with our other one, the unboxing. I was like, I don't know a catchphrase. So, and then Zach just went, Cowabunga! <laughs> killed me. <laughs> he killed me. He's so good. God damn. God damn. So my other uh, objective, the one I didn't choose, was find solid proof. Activate your knowledge token and finish the game with an intruder carcass. That was kind of fun. Yeah. So I think if, if we had done that one, if I'd chosen that one, I would have been much more tied to being in the yeah, basement with you. You would have been, you would have <laughs> helped me. Hey, hey, hey. What were your two um, contingencies? My two contingencies. Mm, I, could I, have been the... I was straight with you. I had a blue one and a... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had blue and yellow. I... Contingent? Like, a, I liked the lights so a little. So good, yeah. Uh, I'll say good extension. Too. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a final thoughts. Let's, yeah, let's you, you're going to have to watch the video. We're going to save. I tried to have, I tried to have small talk with Frick. He yeah. shut me up. He said, Zach, don't kidding. talk to me. Kidding. Don't talk to me until the camera's on. Our relationship is for content now. And so, I did. I said that. Yeah. So now I can't. I, can't I mean, that makes sense for you. <laughs> for me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah no, I, I, I like it. I only apparently watch when he mentions my name. And I, I don't even. Uh, it's just happenstance. So you just need to mention me more, Chris. I'll mention you. I mention you every time, Brandon. I say, Brandon, please say something in the comments. <laughs> this is like, I, it always starts with, this is day 27. Brandon not watching this video. I'm getting desperate. <laughs> he still hasn't commented. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, all right, I can stop. Hey, do you want to press the stop on that, the small one? So do you guys